do comedians no. normally not want to date other comedians? When I say no, capital N O, never date a comedian ever. Oh. Don't. I've made, I know that I made a mistake, but like. <laughs> a learning experience. I, this I've, podcast is going south quickly. Like, I'm I, like, I think we, I need to call him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. Hi guys, and welcome back to Wild Till Nine. We have a guest today. We've had a guest in a hot minute. It's been too long. And also our slut of a dog has abandoned us immediately for our guest. <laughs> uh, just, for a second, I thought you were talking about like her. You were just like hopping right welcome on to in. our slutty <laughs> guest today. Slut of a dog is my new Insta yeah. bio. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I am so happy to be here. Thank you. Also, it's so funny, cats and dogs. Like my cat. My husband fed her every morning for six months before she even made eye contact with him. <laughs> and that is a loyal last you have to You have to earn the trust, I feel like, with cats, where Moose would literally go home with you right now and not <laughs> blink an eye. And I don't know if that says something about me that I'm like, I need my cat to hate everyone but me. Like, that's mm. something I have to work on within me because I should just have like a lovable animal, but I'm like, no, 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 no. She only sits on my lap. Oh my God, I've I've I feel the opposite. I, I like feel like I'm not mentally strong enough to have a pet that <laughs> won't just like unconditionally love me. Like if I get a cat that thinks I'm an asshole, I will be devastated. No, that's True. like why I'm a comic. Like I want to go on stage and people to be like, I don't know if she's funny. And then I have to work hard mm. to convince them. Like I don't want, I don't want like a birthday party. I didn't earn that. I just was born. I want to fucking go. Like it's not, it's yeah. ill. It's ill. Yeah, yeah. There, there's, there's definitely trauma. That there's trauma. That for sure. Yeah. Do you want for Moose sure. to ignore you for a while then or? Well, like in the beginning I wanted him to not trust me and okay. then I do something that he's like, oh, I see her now. Oh. And then we have an erect, uh, like a Could bond be honest, forever. Moose's brain doesn't quite go no. that deep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, when you were out on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. he didn't know. Right. You walked in. Now he, he knows. And he saw a pulse and he was like, and that's, he's like, my a, new that's a new pulse. <laughs> I was joking, like imagine if your boyfriend, whenever he saw a new woman was like, <gasps> and you're like, oh, he just loves people. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I have friends with boyfriends like that. Also, anyways, we did not give you a proper introduction. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. We were just like, this dog is a slut. And the funniest person on TikTok. <gasps> the, I said this dog is a slut. You said the moose is, is the funniest moose person. viral on TikTok? No, you, the funniest person oh, on TikTok. Me. That was your intro. We still haven't. Hannah Burner is here. <laughs> comedian, podcaster, ex-reality TV star. <laughs> How many minutes can we go without saying our guest name? It, it's good thing it's that episode one. <laughs> I honestly forgot my name at this point. I was like, who did you invite? I know, I'm just most, just most is here, just most is here. Um, and so you just came straight off hot from the uh, the comedy stage, also at the comedy store, right? Yeah. That's like kind of iconic. It's it's fun, it's my first ever set. I just popped my cherry tonight, wow. which is very fun. Oh my God. Yeah, it was fun. It's, Comedy's weird. It has all these like little things that are very niche just for comedians that we care about and no one else does. Okay. So like doing a set on the main stage was fun. But now I'm like on to the next thing. Like now I'm like excited to do this podcast. I just like being heard and creating and making people laugh. And I don't care what form. TikTok, <laughs> fucking, I don't give a shit. On the sidewalk, yelling at people, I don't care. I, I, You're I, like, just look at me. I'm a Leo, just look at me. It's Leo it was, season. It was Comedy Store, then Wild Till Nine. Then Wild yeah. Till yeah. Nine, yeah, yeah. yes. yes, yes no, exactly. I've like manifested coming in Wild Till Nine. And um, Lauren was on my podcast, mm -hmm. Burning in Hell, back mm -hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. I've just never, I think, I love that you're in touch with your inner child that loves to be creative because I feel like I ignored that for so long and now I'm back in my like inner child silly vibes. Okay. And you're doing it. Thank you, baby. Yeah, you're doing it. Here you are. I'm trying. Um, also Leo season, you're August 12th, right? Yes. I'm August 11th, so we're <gasps> one day apart. Oh my God. And so I'm turning 29, you're turning 31. 31. 31. Let's, let's write down for the titles, M MILFs 4102. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I yeah. am I am a wise, wise older woman. I'll, I'll, any questions about life you need to know about? Okay, well, I saw the funniest <laughs> clip of you saying that like when you hit 30 and you start getting older, you become less desirable to be kidnapped. <laughs> also, Moose just like gave you his paw. Did you see that? Was, like, no, we're actually falling in love. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this adorable. Like, is this? What is happening? Oh, look at his face. He's just like, hold my hand. Um, you're witnessing a modern love I story. Literally, like, I'm like, I'm sorry, what did we prep for the podcast today? Because I can't <laughs> not. Radio listeners, our regal, well-trained dog wow. has presented I have to take a photo of this. Paw. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And he's like, just has his head down. Like, yeah. Like, it's as if he's sad? discovered the first hand. <laughs> or, or that he like, looks like he's knighting you. Or, <laughs> or he's like judging the shit out of your nails. Let me tell. I'm, 
I'm, I'll hold this as long as you hold it, buddy. I, you know what? Oh, 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 oh. 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 There's no food there. Yeah, there's no food there. There's Sorry, no. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's also nice. Okay, he's happy. So turning 30, you yes. become less desirable to be kidnapped, um, less <laughs> kidnappable, I feel like, <laughs> is how you put it. You know, my mom actually told me she's like a very naturally beautiful woman. And she's mm. like, it's crazy because once I hit the age of 40, she's like, I've... I felt kind of invisible to men. <gasps> like you walk down the street and now she's telling me this story. I was like, I can't fucking wait for that. Like, <laughs> you're like, that sounds kind of nice. To not go outside and get like fucking harassed and uh -huh. like, like to just be you and not be sexualized all the time. So oh, that, yeah, right. Yeah. Down with men, right. down yeah. with men. <laughs> but I also, I'm seeing that culture now of turning 30 and I have a joke about like how commercials they are like, do you have a fine line? Ew, <laughs> fix it now. Like, <laughs> like, why do we get so upset about a fine line? Like your face moves. Like, why are we upset about this is that? A great also, time to bring up this is, yeah, we this do week. love this is great. Dr. Yi, shout out in yes, Cino. We yes. do love Dr. Yi. Yes, yes. Uh, only because we want to. <laughs> right, no one told us to fill the fine lines. We well, were just like, it could be nice. I do think like in your thirties, it's fun to do that, to look kind of how you felt. But then it's great wild. Some girls are doing it at like 22 to yeah. prevent. But Baby I, Botox. Yes. <laughs> that feels like a marketing thing. That feels like a marketing thing for sure. See, I think Botox makes me look like I actually slept last night. That's it. That's the difference for me. It's it. So Currently. Jeremy, the first time he ever got Botox, um, passed out. No. Jeremy's, Jeremy's 6'4 also Thousands. too. And so yeah. they, they literally, when we Lies. walked into the office, hard. big tree fall hard. They put us in a very specific room because it's got the biggest chair because we have like the smallest little cutest Asian man this part's not who does untrue. our Botox. <laughs> and when he fucking went down, he was like, I, I, he's like, Doc, I think I'm, I think I'm going, I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm, so, goes down. There's like little nurses bringing in juice boxes and like little like fucking lollipops and shit. Which and, at a certain point in my life, I would faint. Every time. Oh. So we've come a long way. Yeah. So you're like anything with a, for not a fine line, I'll faint. I used to have to give yeah. blood because like my XXXX, ex, some girlfriend's mom, that was her thing. You give blood. If you're out, you give blood. Right. So if you love her daughter, <laughs> you also That's have the, to give she blood. Was, I liked her daughter. So she was, was a vampire? Yeah. So it was like a, like a yeah, we'll be doing the shadows thing. And I would go and pass out every time. <laughs> and eventually, it's giving the twilight. But like eventually like the, the, the volunteers would come back and they were like, you're, we're good on you. We're, we don't need you or we don't need a half, a half bag of blood that I we can't actually your use. Your energy is just draining everyone, well, so your negative energy. You take 45 minutes in the chair. We need that chair. <laughs> Do you pass out with a COVID test? No, no, <laughs> that, that so was good. Imagine. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm oh, welcome back. Oh, your little man's back. I missed little you. Man's back. I'm so glad that we scheduled this playtime session with you. <laughs> this is so nice. It's literally a playtime with a podcast in the background. Yeah. That's what's happened. Moses had this in his calendar for weeks. <laughs> but it is funny coming to LA, like most, I don't know a lot of men who've gotten work done in New York, but also New York, mm. LA has this kind of man that is not in New York. In New York, guys just get older, fatter, and they become dads. Like they just become old men. There's huh. a lot of guys just in their like 40s and 50s. Like a daddy or like a dad? No, like a dad. Like guys <laughs> just get old. They get old, their noses get big, and that's mm. just, and that's a New York guy. Mm -hmm. Where in LA, there's this like 40 to 60 year old man out here that's like dyed their hair, they're super yes. tan. They're you jacked. can tell he's gotten work done. They're super jacked. They go and to like, what, what men there's this weird like I don't they don't have that in New York men just huh. become old huh I, I also testosterone for sure oh yeah like, oh yeah a yeah. lot of guys take like the Bezos yeah. bod you're like really okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah the Bezos right. you're so right it's the Bezos bod yeah. it just always has an erection you're like yeah. calm yeah. down Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, this is point, 45 baby this is 45 I mean like already lubed up in your jeans <laughs> yeah Anyway, no, I think that's like, it's a half, like, I didn't realize how many people are on testosterone until you like, you, you get the patterns. I didn't either. Who did I, I think it was Dan They just Blizzarian. punching walls every that night? Was, like, yes, literally, yeah. literally, yes. But Could, well, punching walls in the college when I went to, we did that. We just did it fat and ugly. That's just now being a white hot. dude in college. Yeah, that's just being a white dude in college. <laughs> you know how hard it is to get into your <laughs> top six choices and then have to go and then do pretty well. I didn't do any of those things, but had I. No, I actually think testosterone is um, the biggest issue in our society. Like, let's, let's unpack that. I mean, okay, this is gonna get dark, but I've been working on it. Like even like dog bites are from unneutered males because mm -hmm. the testosterone's out of control. And mm -hmm. think about the men in our society, unneutered, they're out of control, <laughs> running around <laughs> feral, truly. Yep. Think of, and like, I don't wanna get too dark, but like 90% of mass shootings are men. Wait, I it's saw only this. It's 98? It's literally testosterone. I'm, I'm shocked it's, it's not 99. I, there must've been like, 
one woman who made a mistake. Right. But like, it, it's testosterone. Woman drops So gun. like, at what point do we, like women are controlling our hormones. Maybe we need to like talk to some men to stop being fucking. I have a few friends who recently so have gotten vasectomies and I feel like they got a little less angry. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I don't think we need snip snip. <laughs> a little snip. I actually just heard about this new birth control and this came from a friend of a friend who also saw it on TikTok. So I'm not entirely sure this how factual this is it's factual. gonna be. No, 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 this is good. But it's, it's something, like it's no, like it's a facts. sponge or something that goes into the dick. Lauren. What? Into the dick? There is a 0% chance this is factual. Okay, well hang you on, lost, let me, you let me lost look me at it. sponge goes Wait, in penis. Devin, will you look this up? This I don't sounds even like know. that scene from the boys. <laughs> no, you're talking about? This is a horror movie. Do you watch yeah. the boys by the way? No. Okay, what? that's on next on your must watch list. I have to watch it. Can you it? do yeah. oh, yeah. male yeah. advertised everywhere? Cancel the tour. This male birth good. control sponge. <laughs> yeah, if, if it like, doesn't pop up after those three. It goes three. something into the testicles. Small donut shape. Fuck me, right. <gasps> oh my God. No. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, what? Hang on. A vaginal sponge. No, 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 not the vaginal. Is that one supposed to, this one goes in the dick. <laughs> Moose is like looking at it. The fact that the you sponge. just typed in front of everyone, that would have given me so much anxiety. I would have <laughs> folded like a cheap beach chair and just been like, I got it. <laughs> Wait, go to, the, go to the web results of what it gives us. I yeah. want to get the proper name. Cause yeah. it really did come from like six what? different um, birth control sponges. It's a small donut shaped device with an indentation. Indent it's made of polyurethane with the foam coat. What the fuck? No. No, but there's, Wait, one, no, uterus. there's one that goes in the, the no. vagina, but that, that one's old. That one's old. This is like right? new technology. Penis. Let's write penis. Let's stop being penis. Scared. Birth control. Um, no, birth, birth control for penis. For penis. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Let's cut to the chase. Wow, here. I love saying the word penis. Let's just type in penis. cock. Cock sponge. The vasectomy. No. Cock Injection. Sponge. Cock sponge. Okay, I'm gonna circle back on this. Scrub um, daddy for dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rebranding opportunity for Scrub Daddy right yes. there. <laughs> oh my God, the next Shark Tank. A just sponge dick. Um, just a full on, just like parody version. Okay, of so anyways, ones. it was something about sponges going in the testicles that soak up all of the sperm. Yeah, that sounds super factual. Print that, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I learned everything from TikTok, so I believe you. Yeah, this is my conversation at brunch. The lady behind us like whipped around. She was there with like her very grown child, but she like mm. whipped around and gave us the dirtiest like, but I was truly so interested and I'm gonna follow up on You're this. You're talking about cock sponges and she was like, <laughs> Please. Yeah, not okay. while I eat French toast. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Moose, you're fucking adorable. Oh my God, now we're having some hand holding again. Well, I, I, I have good news for you. Yeah. Take a look. Zero nuts. No nuts. That is why we get along. Yeah. And look, I'm not trying to come for all men, not all men, just the but 98%. clearly there's something going on with testosterone yeah. and I don't need these like 50 year old spray tanned men jacked up on some fake testosterone ruining my day. Y'all, you know what we love? Not paying monthly fees for your checking account because who likes extra fees? Nobody. Nobody. Chime is a refreshing way to handle your money with no monthly fees and no maintenance fees or minimum balance fees. It's how banking should be. When you need to access your money, which is always whenever I want to access my money, you can do so fee-free at more than 60,000 in-network ATMs at many locations like most Walgreens, 7-Eleven, and CVS. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. So don't worry about not being able to pay back that one friend who always picks up the check. Chime, no monthly fees, no vibe killing fees. Sign up for a Chime checking account. It only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancor Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees apply except at MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any all point or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. Other fees such as third party and cash deposit fees may apply. No, you're so right. I feel like hearing that statistic too about, oh, Moose is exited. Devin, do you mind yeah, letting him, letting him exit? Uh, yeah, Moose is taking his hey, grand exit right well, now. Well, actually, we have, oh, it was so a type 15 that. as well. Yeah. I yeah. love how oh, he- Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, you. Park. Invoices, thank Bye. you. <laughs> Miss you, love you. <laughs> Um, no, but like, I feel like I didn't even think about that until you like break down the actual statistic of like what percentage of why are all mass shootings men? And then I, I turned it into kind of a bit where I was like, if people want to have guns, 
Give them to the women. Give them to the women. Like you imagine like, like you had to ask a woman permission. Like, okay, I just need to borrow it for like tonight. No, but like that's actually, I'd be okay, like, tomorrow. okay, so where are you going? Who are you going are with? You the, is exactly. your location on on Find Friends? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if, and like, if they can't get a girlfriend, then they definitely can't get a gun. What do we do with gay men? Well, gay men don't count. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, no, they're, okay. this are, they're men, on our side. They're on, the yeah. gay men, you don't see gay men shooting up. Haven't. S- uh, schools. My, this is, Slightly unrelated, my friend's <laughs> dad's, um, what's that, dermatologist mm. in like LA just tried to poison her husband and saw this on TikTok as well too, but like it's also cause it was just like a viral news moment. Wait, wait, your friend's Mia's, father. Mia's dad's dermatologist. Oh, I love that we're using names. Yeah, we're just gonna- yeah. Mia's dad's dermatologist. Allegedly. I mean, it's public news. No, yeah. no, this is oh. straight up public. He, so he had it. like a kid. <laughs> Mia's dad's dermatologist tried to poison huh. her husband and he, I guess he's like set up a fucking camera in their home. He was like, I had grounds of suspicion to think that she was doing something. And she like, they arrested her at her dermatology practice. Anyway, so he's got an appointment on Thursday and he's gonna go in and just be like, oh my God, like, where is she? Like, what? And just play stupid to see what they say. Wow. And it worked? No, he's still alive. Oh, so she failed. So well, I think, I don't even, I, I, they, I don't know if they've really, see if they did the video. Is Go, it bad? Dermatologist that, poisons husband, LA. <laughs> I know, so like clearly you're showing that women kill too, but like, is no, it- No, but kill smarter. Yeah, but also <laughs> is it bad that when I hear that, I'm like, well, he, what did he do? Literally, no, same thing. I'm <laughs> like, okay, well, she probably he had do? grounds to do it. He probably fucking deserved it. Yes, like, this is her. Oh my God, and dermatologist like, husband says read, she poisoned him. She's like read at arsenic and old lace like the week before. She's like, I have an idea. <laughs> she just, it's like, can you die of Botox? Let's oh, wait, I think he's just like slowly been getting sick maybe. Is that what it says? Ooh, that is torturous. Sustained significant internal injuries. Ooh. Oh, Oh, is this wow. the sponge you're talking about? But what did he do though? What What did he but do what to did deserve he do? it? To straight up deserve it. And they said he has video evidence, but it's in quotations. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> Look, um, I believe the woman. But if, I believe have, the you woman. Ever, <laughs> like, have you ever seen the camera skills of any man over the age of 40? That's not why great. it's- Yeah, great. you are yeah, so fucking right. Great. Oh, really? Just, yeah. With Instead of a camera, just like- Horizontal yeah. camera. <laughs> it's shot, no, no, it's shot on the iPad from like 2012. Wow, her oh. skin does look great though. Her skin though. does yeah. look great in the jail <laughs> photo. Yeah. The skin Glowing. does look really great. <laughs> like, Glowing. Whatever chemical Supple. peel she's doing, I would like. Her cheekbones are amazing. Yeah, cheekbones are wow snatched. Wow. I mean, I'm guilty of like, I love watching Snapped where like one of the couples just snaps. Have you heard of Snapped? No, what's <gasps> Snapped? It's one of those like cable shows about a couple and always starts like, everything was great <laughs> when they first got together. This is, this is before 3 p.m. for sure. Yeah, yeah but for sure. Right after 10 a.m. For sure. <laughs> Sarah and Steve seem like they were meant to be. And then it's like, but Steve ended up in the refrigerator cut up. How did we get there? That's literally every oh episode. God. And then they take you through and oh, the guy always fucking deserved it. Let's oh, right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. I, can, I can confirm, guys, usually <laughs> yeah. do deserve it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say like, what? oh, yeah. snapped, oh my God. Wait, so, what did it like a, like a, um, I'm so intrigued by oh God, the, that, the that, cover art. That cover art looks like my yeah. old boss. A look at the mindset of scorned woman, Tanya Ford, who killed her police <laughs> officer husband, David, when she discovered he was leaving her for another oh, woman. I mean, deserved, deserved it. Yeah, it. Sounds like it you was, had it coming. A quiet cul-de-sac <laughs> became a crime scene <laughs> with a some, domestic row. Someone out there is hard just listening to this too. Like, <laughs> it's like, those, are, those are the two ends of the spectrum on this. Oh, this is my favorite. A controversial case of Mary Beth who said she shot her husband believing he was a bear. Genius. Okay. Genius. I mean, have you seen a man with a she hairy was ass back before? Uh, yeah, shave Possible. your back. That's your Possible. fault, sir. That's your no. fault. Laser, no. No. Don't dress Waxing, like a bear. Shaving. That's, in our relationship, that's, that's, that's if you don't Lauren's get responsibility. Shot. <laughs> I did shave his back and hair th- yeah. and shoulders the other day. Wait, yeah. that's bonding though. Thank it you. really is. Thank yeah. you. It really yeah. is. So someone has to do it. I can't. Yeah. We found like a new patch of hair. Like he doesn't really have a hairy back, but there was like a new patch that had been kind of sprouting and he just turned 30. What's your nationality? White. White. Any any particular kind? Very. <laughs> Mayflower? Yeah, oh God, yeah, you think. Yeah. I like, also, I kind of obsessed with you two because you both have like a little main character energy. Oh, oh no, you're definitely the main character. No, maybe you're the main no, character. You're the main character. You're the main character. Main character. Yeah. I'm obsessed with that because I feel like pe- I've learned a lot that like people, sometimes you should have like a gardener and someone's mm-hmm. a flower or like mm-hmm. sometimes someone's a balloon and the other person's a rock and I'm, 
my relationship, I'm with another comedian and we definitely are both main character. Mm. And I feel like we understand each other because we're similar, but then obviously have our differences. And I always thought I had to be with like a shy wallflower. So that's why I love you too. I always, I literally always, I'm like the most type A, like fucking high strung bitch. And so I used to always go for like, like type chill. B, very yes. chill, go with the flow. No, you're like, crazy. Bitch, we were late to everything. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> or like you're with the quiet guy and then you're like six months in and you're like, okay, can you bring up one thing? Yeah, like do I, you like what what are you thinking right now? Like I what can't what do you what be the like charisma <laughs> in every fucking conversation we have? I'm sick of myself. I'm sick of my voice. How often do you tell me do I have anything to say or add to that? Like, yeah, hey, could you just talk more? I would say it's more it's, to the, like the tone of like shh. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking to myself, has Lauren ever said, I want to know what you're thinking? <laughs> Literally and never. I've I never once never. uttered those words yeah. and nor will they ever. I would just love to know what you think about the situation. Yeah. Yeah. No, I literally broke up with the dude once because I was watching a Dr. Dre documentary and mm -hmm. his wife said, he's the balloon and I'm the rock. I hold him down. And I remember being like, Oh my god! I need to get out of this relationship. Yeah, that's, I'm that no, sounds like horrible. I'm no. They got a divorce, and I was like, I'm <laughs> nobody's fucking. Re like, I, I just don't like being with guys who dim your light. Because oh my god, yeah, absolutely is so not. whatever. Because also, it's like, ev like right now, I'm in a relationship where like we really do switch and take turns of like mm -hmm. me rooting for him and then him rooting for me. I was and that's be. fun. And if it's too lopsided, I think sometimes it could get like boring. In yeah, a way. or just like the imbalance in like different ways. I feel like can get toxic quick. Yeah. I'm not saying that we're right. But we're right. We're right. Yeah. We're right. <laughs> Just don't be, don't feel like you need someone to compliment you mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to be with someone who's similar to you. Cause like they, they like almost understand how your mind works a little bit. Oh my God. Well, I feel like it's been drilled into us that like opposites attract. Also the amount of movies. Oh my oh God. My, like Greece. Also R.A.P. Oh, don't listen to me. Icon, a true like, icon. I know. But like in Greece, this exact same thing, like opposites attract. And it's like, it's drilled into our brains. Craft girl. I, I would not say that we're necessarily super similar, but no, in some ways we are. Definitely not. <laughs> no, but you both have like a similar aura. Sorry, I've been in LA for two days. And okay, I'm no, talking about seeing auras, auras and crystals. I'm seeing your auras your right now. Chakras. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true because sometimes like you don't want to, you want to be quiet. You want to like, especially me, I feel like I have to be on all day. Mm -hmm. I love to turn off at night. Yeah. And I have someone who can like be on when I'm off. Yeah. hundred percent. And you can switch. Is it normally like a no, no for other comedians? Not like a no, no, but like do comedians no. normally not want to date other comedians? N when I say no capital and oh, never date a comedian ever. Huh. Don't. I've made, I know that I made a mistake, but like. <laughs> A learning experience. I, this podcast is going south quickly. I, did, like, I'm I, like, I think we, I need to call him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I dated comics in the past and I literally was like, cause I thought, oh, if I date a successful comic, mm. like he won't be as crazy. Turns out go. they're more fucking crazy. <laughs> so then, but it's not about finding someone who's not crazy. It's finding someone who's like demons or compatible with your demons. Mm -hmm. And I got lucky where the guy I'm with, he's, he's older. So mm. we're, we're definitely not like competitive in terms of like we're coming up together. Right, like he's right. like- You're not like he, both on the grind. Yeah, he's yeah. like done a lot of shit in his career. He also, he's tired, which I'm obsessed with. I love that about <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. And he's also, when he's off the stage, he's a very normal guy. Mm. And I like fell in love with that guy. Like, I think he's so funny off stage. Like on stage to me, it's like, yeah, it's his comedy it's a persona. Show. Yeah. yeah, where other guys in the past, I fall in love with them on stage and then off stage, right. I'm like- Oh, you're kind of like a, you're like, it's he, not the yeah. same. Yeah. yeah. So, cause we met during COVID. So like we both didn't even That's see right. each other's comedy for, we were engaged before you ever saw me do stand up, which is kind of crazy. You know what though? That's probably how it should like that. I feel like that's like maybe healthy. You no, know what I mean? No, no, no. I would never get engaged with somebody if they were, if they were stand up, I would need them to like actually see them and do stand up. And a lot of people really? would say that cause they're like, God forbid, they're like not funny. But I think if you actually think they're so funny in person. Right. Y you get to a point where you're like, okay, I'm. They're gonna be okay on stage. Huh. <sighs> what if he went up there though and was like super like chauvinistic and said like crazy shit? Would you be like, <clears throat> oh my? Was it no. funny? <laughs> Honestly, like we say that uh, your love language, like they have to talk about, they don't talk about humor as a love language. Cause mm -hmm. I'm always like, what's your love language? He's like, laughter. And I'm like, that's not a love language, babe. Also, wait, what was that accent? Oh yeah, so he's from Queens. <laughs> so he talks like this. But also Irish? Oh yeah, so when, when he was 14, he was confused. kicked out of school and sent to Ireland. Okay. And then just stayed and like kind of became famous in Ireland. 
Okay. And okay. then during the pandemic, he would come back to New York occasionally, but the pandemic, he came back to New York and that's how we met. So the pandemic brought us together. And like, is the accent also half Queens, half so Irish? So what's crazy is he talks like, you know, a mafia guy, but right. then he will be like, yeah, it's bloody cold out here. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, what? So, so he so says, confused. and he also speaks Mandarin. I saw that on Which is so your random. fact sheet and I was like, huh. It's not my fact sheet. Huh. I was like, didn't, didn't pay him for a Mandarin speaking Long story short, he's like, he's just like very smart. Yeah. And I used to just go for looks. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I was going for the looks. Cause I was like, yeah, you just think Disney Prince's show you like if he's hot yeah, and he's go. tall, yes. like he's, he's, he's going to save a, you. A carpet yeah. and he'll fly you somewhere. Yeah, I mean, you'll fall yeah. asleep and he'll kiss you when you're it's asleep, fine. but whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we love a little consent. Yeah. <laughs> like Snow White, what the fuck was that? Anyway, <laughs> and they made her like clean with the seven doors. Oh, anyway, so I traumatized. I... <laughs> I like fell in love with his brain and like the stuff he knew and like being with a guy who I respected emotionally, but I also think I had a wall up and I was, I didn't want to respect guys emotionally cause I wanted to protect myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like I actually was yeah. being yeah, yeah. a fuck girl. But then finally he was just like mature emotionally. And I was like, holy shit, this is how you actually have like intimacy and like, vulnerability. He ignored your fuck girl to the point until you like caught up the other side. You're like, okay, got it. I like both sides of this. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> and no, he literally at one point, Early on, I like post, I was like, I think I like subtly was trying to make him jealous. And he called me and he was like, hey. Like what the fuck was if that? If you want to play games, like <gasps> that's cool. But like, I just, I'm not into that stuff. <gasps> and I normally- Called you on your shit. Call, dude. And most of the time when guys have like drama with me, I'll be like, okay, then leave. I don't care. Like they're just being <laughs> annoying. I'm like, you just made that up in your head. Got like gas like them, go away. <gasps> But he did this, something about him was, cause it was vulnerable of him to be like, that hurt my feelings. Yeah, and I'm addressing it. And I'm addressing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I want to know, cause my time is important. And if I want to mm -hmm. invest it in you, like I want to know you're not going to fuck with me. I can respect me. that. <gasps> Literal lady boner. I, my tail went between my legs and I was like, I'm so, so sorry. And from that moment on, it was just he like helped real. me be vulnerable. Mm. Cause I also was like, who the fuck is this guy? Mm. Like he, he's a comic, he's tall. Like that is bad news. He's a narcissist. Funny and tall. Yeah, he's gonna fucking ruin my life. So I was just prepared. <laughs> right. And then he kind of was very, and also my parents got engaged in five months. So in my head, that was my love story. So I was like, we got engaged in six months. Like it was six quick. months. I mean, it was quarantine months. So like multiply by right, seven. Right. Okay, but like, so yeah, so yeah. yeah. but I really was yeah. like, I'm very into, you know, when you meet a friend and immediately you're like, where the fuck has this person been my whole life? Yeah, I want to yeah, hang out with like them every day. Yeah, yeah. Three times. That's the, easiest, that's the easiest way for me to explain. Like when people were like, when you know, you know, you don't really know. It's more just like, yeah, I'm down for this. Oh my God. Well, that's so nice. Wait, where, your, where did your parents grow up? New, we're New York. Everyone's New York. Yeah. Got it. They you, don't on a sound New York, you don't sound like, like you don't, I don't have talk like, the, like I'm New yeah, York. Yeah. 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 I think it's cause yeah, this, if you're from the city, you it's kind of like, it's just in, regular. Yeah, you don't talk, <laughs> but like if you're from like Queens or from Long Island, in you Jersey, talk like this, New yeah. Jersey. So yeah, <laughs> everyone around me talks like that. Got um, it. Yeah. Oh but my I'm, God. I five like months. People are funnier from the East coast though. Isn't that a fact? Also, anyone with an accent, like Harry Jowsey, like I know that you're buds with Harry and like anything Harry says is 10 times funnier because he says it in his fucking accent. You're so fucking right about that. Yeah. Call everyone like Little Dumplings. Little Dumplings, I literally yeah. said, if a, if a guy with an American accent call people Little Dumplings, I'd be like, you're being you're like, fucking creepy. You, you said that, I thought to myself, that's on the no list. Yeah. Right. Oh that, God, if you like, call me a Little Dumpling. Just throw me away. He was I'd be like, one, okay. slightly racist. And two, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Harry will literally be like, hello. A little sunflower Fine. and everyone laughs like you say, say that no nope. yeah exactly Come on. yeah babe one more one say time it. little sunflower hello sunflower <laughs> no say little say little hello little sunflower no! <laughs> <laughs> immediate ick immediate ick i just felt like i should have like like lollipops in my pocket and i was like walking through white just, van. Just, yeah. Yeah, white van. oh my god <laughs> You know, you know, they've got they've got like the gift and like the ability to like have that extra layer of flirtatious. You're so right, but and, Australian and men are feral. Mom. You have to stay away from them too. They are wild. They have too mm. much fun. Okay, so who's not feral? Gay men. Gay men are feral. Yeah, gay men are feral. We're, we're, we're really? very are feral. Are you just okay, being feral? They're feral, but they don't. But they get guns. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because they're busy. Like gay guys are. <laughs> we have feminine busy. energy. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like yes. with you. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. making a Venn diagram in my head here. You've, yes. got, you've got men, no. No guns. Okay, women. 
Guns. Guns. Where, okay, who else from the man category is not feral and gets guns? Gays. Or one or the other? Oh no, you are feral, but- One or the other. <laughs> They're, yeah, okay, so what kind of men can- mm -hmm. um, I would say, um, <laughs> we, we come really coming up with nothing right now. <laughs> a pastor. Like, well, how many different kinds? Well, no, oh, yeah, no, 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 they will shoot you, so yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're I'm the first to go. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god! Honestly, young men, like in their like below six years old, can have guns because they <laughs> don't. Their testosterone hasn't hit yet. Great, clip that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, burner for gun control. Oh, okay. no. Twenty twenty four. That is, so that is how something out of context could get you in trouble. <laughs> That's how it will. So you think at age six, we should be deciding then and there, we have to educate them or you know what? They never get guns. I get it. I mm -hmm. like it. I, I just think that if your testosterone's out of control, like you are scary to the community, mm -hmm. go to therapy, talk to mm -hmm. people, let out your feelings, learn to cry. I say like, girls, like we are busy doing like our six step skincare routine. We don't have time to shoot places up. Oh my God, yeah, absolutely Also like not. your nails, are you really gonna risk those nails? Oh my God, I would, what would I, to I wouldn't shoot even someone. open something the other day. <laughs> you can't even pick up a nickel right now. It, uh, You're today, not shooting I got people. my credit card stuck in the pay meter today because my nails are too long. The Wait girl that this. I was with, thank God, was able to get it out. Wait, but you didn't have your tweezers? No, they are, so there's a product for this. When you have too long of nails where you can't like reach shit. So when the card goes into the meter, it like really sucks it in. There's like yes. less than a centimeter sticking yes. out. And with nails, you can't rip it no. out fast. And your nails look amazing, by the way. Thank you so, so much. So worth not being able to do anything. No time to shoot things up. <laughs> and so they made this little grabber. It's like kind of like, um, just like two rectangles and mine have like fake Louis Vuitton on them and they're yeah. very cute. Mm -hmm. But it's a card grabber, literally for bitches like me who don't have of the physical capacity. This is three to get steps away from life alert. Just I, like I, you know, I know. I'm like, how are we gonna fight the patriarchy without fingers? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Are you gonna there's a product for it? I got three <laughs> of them, one for every purse, one for my car. Uh, yeah. Problem but, but, solved. But they weren't with you when you got it stuck again? No, well, I, so here's the thing, is that the purse, <laughs> the purse situation is all out of whack right now because okay. I'm packing right. and I didn't oh, have my I car. Hate when you switch purses, and it ruins all, everything. Yeah, I know. My whole life is a lie once I have a new purse. Same, no, no, I feel the same way. Because like if your chapstick isn't in it. <gasps> the bag of emergency goldfish. Yep. Not in the right Lauren purse right has, now. No, Lauren wouldn't leave the house without a checklist. I spilled the entire bag of emergency goldfish in Jeremy's new Tesla the other day. <laughs> like, we almost broke up. We were on the verge of- it, We were in the car for 17 <laughs> seconds and like it got out and it was like, what three-year-old child was in my passenger seat? <laughs> it was just like- <laughs> Oh wait, that's so something I would do. Sorry, little queen. Just, just being chaotic. Just, being chaotic. <laughs> just reminding you we're here. But like one is the thing you like, like when you like put your feet up just on the dash and just like, like just rides just with just like- Okay, no, 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 no. Have you, do you have friends with Teslas? <laughs> that's the most like, LA like, question. Yeah, I figured. I feel like I don't even know how to open a Tesla door, and I always feel poor because I'm just Dude, like, what is this? I Uber. What is the, I Uber something the other day, and Uber had a video tutorial how to open a Tesla Dude, door because they must have the most chaotic. Yeah. No, I now know because I've taken a couple Ubers, but the first mm -hmm. time I was like, I went to college. How can I not figure <laughs> this out? Open this fucking door. So anyway, Teslas go zero. What's what's the the fast. very I don't know, so fast, fast in fast. a very fast amount of time, mm -hmm. and so the G force that sucks you to the okay. fucking seat, like a carnival ride, like a <gasps> sketchy carnival ride. And so anyway, in my defense, I put my feet on the dashboard because I'm bracing for my life. So I naturally like, I'll put my feet and it kind of just hits it. Yes, exactly. And my husband will get mad at me like I'm a child. And then he'll make me like push my seat, seat back. back. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like this, I'm comfortable here. Yeah, you figure it out. I just, I think I should put you in the back seat and like a little, like, you know, your own little thing. Wait, just that's click fun in. though. Cause he'll be like an Uber driver for yeah. you. Oh, home James, <laughs> Charles, <laughs> take me home. Sure. We're going back to your nails. Do you have nails? I actually, right now I, they're real, Okay, but you, I, I have them did. Do you have to do yours like to the, like with your phone to the side? Like she slaps her, 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 <laughs> okay. her like it's here. This is the thing, like the, I can't send a coherent text with it too long, but yeah, you have to like, 
either use your it's like, like the side. Yeah, you use the does, side. Like I'm not kidding. It's this. No, I can no, type you don't so understand. Fast, the second I have nails that are too long, I'm like I'm worthless in this society. I can't even okay. comb my hair. That happens to me when I go the other way though, and I have no nails. I'm so used to like living life. You like, do get typing used to it eventually. And on the computer and the laptop and stuff, and like doing anything. But this is the thing. Once you get your nails done, like I get an attitude problem. Like okay. I'm immediately like, I need to put my hands up in someone's face for no reason. Right. And you just like feel sassy as shit. And, and mm -hmm. it's a high that I can't describe. And so is that a part of your life now? Or do you do you keep yourself distanced? Well, Cause I was, I used to be a tennis player. I never mm -hmm. had long nails. Like right. I didn't like it being dirty. I kept my nails like so, so cut. And this is a new thing, me having nails. And I don't know if it's wow, good for society. What a journey. I know. No, I love this new evolution of you. I know. And then nails. one of my friends was like, this isn't you. Like, stop trying to be someone's not you. And I go, I'm growing and learning and evolving. <laughs> but it's aesthetic is fun. Like feel, it's part of self-care too. Yeah. I was never into self-care. <laughs> so, well, so does self care sad. exist more than five or six years ago? No, I thought like we just kind of got thing. onto it. Yeah, yeah, like the self care girly, whatever. Uh, not you. Um, uh, the uh, clean, clean girl, girl aesthetic. aesthetic. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not there. fucking dirty girl aesthetic. No, I'm yeah. dirty girl, mm, Jesus. messy dirty, girl, dirty, ugly, messy girl yeah, aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't washed hair in six days. Aesthetic. Yeah, but you look. Um, but you look hot, girl. Thank you so much. There's yes. so much dry shampoo in my hair at all times. <laughs> But yeah, self care. Sometimes I would think like, why do I deserve to stop and like do my nails? Like, what did I do to deserve that? Like, I had to earn mm. stuff. Like me and my cat's relationship. And now, <laughs> now I, mean, I see this as a theme you know, throughout yeah. your life. I do think like growing up as an athlete, I was taught like, when you win, you, you get love. Yes, or you so, like, get What trophy. did you do to deserve this? Which is like, it's not true. Like, you want to be like, mm. I'm just unconditionally lovable in whatever form. And then also, then you know what you want, not what other people want from you. And if you learn like, oh, I do like getting my nails done or I do like, like you don't even know what your inner voice is that bring, what brings you joy. And you're the only one that knows that you can't wait for other people to tell you. So anyway, that was my twenties. Okay. Wow. That was deep as shit. That was deep as shit. Yeah. Let's go back to your aesthetic, which was Madison, Wisconsin. Why there? <laughs> oh my God, I love that you guys did some research. I, I honestly, I had no idea where Wisconsin was on a map, Okay, but I got a full scholarship for mm. tennis and I go got Badgers. there. It's a great party school. Go Badgers. I've been there many Badgers. times. Really? I, I was from like an hour south of there, Rockford, Illinois. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just and right it's so much fun. There. Where'd you go to college? Kentucky. Kentucky. Nice. Not nice. a I bad had, time. I had some friends there. Yeah. Very fun school. So Madison, I mean, it was a culture shock. <laughs> a little bit coming from Brooklyn, like they thought I was exotic because I had brown hair. For sure. Oh, yeah. I was I Italian. They yeah. literally thought I was exotic. Oh, yeah. Some of them never saw like a Jew before. Wow. Oh, it was, I didn't meet one until I was 25. It's uh, Minnesota, right? It's uh, next to Minnesota. Yeah. Oh, so, like, right. it is Minnesota. Middle? <laughs> you got, what, guys, okay. Minnesota above Wisconsin. Oh, okay. So it's not. <laughs> like, you live there. Map? No, yeah. I didn't know where I was while I was there. The cheese curds are incredible. The dairy, really wait, overall. cheese curds are Minnesota. a thing in, in Wisconsin? Uh, oh my, cheese curds, it's above. an art form. Wait, cheese curds are a thing in Montreal too, because it's like the yes, poutine thing. Yes, Illinois, the poutine. Iowa, so Wisconsin, you, There's like here. crispy ones, you get the chewy ones, Also, but what it's really, you have to Google this. Yes. <laughs> wait, oh my God, this is so near Canada. This is so close to me. Yes. Yes. It's Well, so people would say in Wisconsin, they go, oh, See we're Rockford going, and Madison, right? we're going up north. And I'd be like, was to Canada, <laughs> and they're like, no, just up north of Wisconsin. Okay, I need you to Google <laughs> Wisconsin Bloody Mary. Wisconsin Bloody Marys are unlike anything else. They put a full chicken in it. Shut the fuck up. Oh, like oh. they go so fucking hard with their this Bloody Marys. This is the Marys. most America shit I've ever seen right yeah, here. Like, like this a is full, America. Um, game hen in that they'll have yeah cheese curds, burgers, it's oh a full God. meal in the Bloody Mary. They is know it how like to drink. A, is it like a novelty thing or it's like with the purpose of eating it as well too? purpose of eating it as well. Wow. They just, they love to eat and drink and watch huh. sports. I think it was, it, huh. it's, it's cold. cold. There's nothing else to do. 11 and a half months out of the year. Gonna be honest, Canada is also cold and in Toronto, we never put a full chicken in our <laughs> drinks. <laughs> Gotta be well, honest. Uh, this is what culture I did like. eat a ton of cheese curds. Like poutine was my post bar drunk food, which sounds like a, like that sounds like a, a, a Canadian is parody. all over Canada? Or just certain parts. Oh, like, over, <laughs> over Canada. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Rainbows. I haven't been in the middle of Canada. Okay. To be honest. Wait, where are you from? Toronto? To yeah, Niagara Falls area. Oh my and God, then obsessed. I went to school in Toronto. Obsessed. Yeah. I, I do have to say it. Oh, God. That's uh, <laughs> the best. <laughs> 
looks. I mean, that looks miserable. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fries, I mean, cheese curds, and for sure. gravy. Just, what do you why, mean? Why is, the, okay, but why is the cheese like not melted? I because the best is they're like That's rubbery. The yeah, they're rubbery, but then they do melt a little. Listen but they're to still the way you're describing rubbery. this. You're just used to like what's the Swiss Nachos. cheese shit that was yeah, always yeah, yeah. Like just some fucking <laughs> shredded Whereas, mozzarella. Like, this is are, you, are you Canadian? No, yeah. Boston. Yeah, why are you jumping oh. on this? Oh, okay, Boston. yeah, like jumping on the bandwagon, Boston. calm down. Yeah, just okay, for Red cheese Sox. curds, honestly. <laughs> I do have to say though, you mentioned like you think New Yorkers are funny, and it, I think it's because a lot of us are immigrants. Oh, that like, makes sense. Yeah, like I'm, I'm half Italian. I'm half like Russian, Austrian, Polish, Jewish, whatever, uh-huh. and like. When you have that generational trauma of immigrants, <laughs> I think, and like obviously everyone's an immigrant, right? In America, Down but there's something about like the New York, like trauma. we don't like to complain. <laughs> yeah, like just we're we're always okay. like analyzing things. To be honest, though, Jeremy and I, and this is a hot take, and yeah. like, you oh. might not enjoy us as much afterwards. Jeremy and I both wildly despise New York. Oh my God, I, I'm so excited you brought this up because I'm very passionate about speaking on the like LA versus New York versus other <gasps> oh my cities God. vibe. Okay, okay, so okay, give okay, me, I give me, wait, okay, we're yeah. having a healthy debate. Okay, this is a safe space. If it gets heated, we're still friends after. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is your take? My take is that I think <laughs> being from Toronto, I went to university in Toronto, I was there for five years. Cool. And I think going from Toronto to New York, I immediately, immediately am overwhelmed mm-hmm. um, by people, trash, too big of a public transit system, mm. which is like, I think a good problem to have for like a, a city that like needs it that big. But mm-hmm. like Toronto just feels like a cleaner, smaller, more manageable version of New York where people are a little bit nicer. So I really want to go to Toronto cause I heard amazing things about it. Oh yeah, if you like New York, you'd love Toronto. That's what people tell that to yeah. me. I, it's funny cause I, what I fight about with New York is not that it's not disgusting, but people saying like <laughs> New Yorkers are assholes because my thing is it's a pure like saturation thing mm-hmm. where like if you had that many people in a space, you can't say good morning to that many people. Oh, I totally agree. So that's where like some people will take it as insulting, but it's like, no, we're just busy. But New Yorkers have a very like, we have each other's back in a way. Like if someone faints on a subway, mm-hmm. Who's the doctor? Like New Yorkers fucking have each other's back. Like okay, wait, wait in a wait, way that's pause, unreal. Pause, pause. I saw this TikTok. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe because I feel like this is New York TikTok where it was someone jumped in the subway, which was very <gasps> unfortunate, and yeah. I'm sure happens more often than anyone wants it to in yeah. New York. Yeah. And it was this person with screen recorded their like three back to back TikToks on their for you page, and it was everyone with different perspectives being like, "Yeah, I'm fucking late now." Someone else was yeah. like. Fuck, it always happens to be on the day I need to be somewhere. And then I was like, yes, yeah, someone fucking jumped today. Fuck me. I'm late for beauty school today. And it was just back to back, three different New Yorkers reacting so to the same incident. A thousand percent accurate because I've been there. And it's like, there'll be like a fire or something. Or yeah, like someone had a really bad day. And like a really, really bad but day. But it's like, you can't save that person anymore. So you're like, okay, well, you're selfish shit. Just fucked up everyone's yeah, commute, day. like from everywhere. Because we're all in it together. And like, it's almost like we don't take it personally when like sometimes I'll see someone freak out someone I'm like, and we're all like rooting for them we're like yeah they were fucking ruining the vibe anyway <laughs> um, but New York I also think some people visit and they get that like midtown vibe which mm. is it's it's disgusting to a New Yorker mm-hmm. where if you want like the culture and the arts there's like downtown if you want more trees and stuff there's Brooklyn like there's just so many parts in New York to find the right vibes for you but I'm and I also talk so much shit about LA like oh it's vapid and like oh it is whatever but <laughs> But then people will be like, oh, yeah, it's like na- the weather's better in L.A., but like the people are better in New York. But I'm like, I thought we thought New Yorkers were assholes. So pick a fucking side. But L.A. is just like glamorous and gorgeous and like aesthetics <laughs> where New York is like fast, Grungy, grind. It's very, fast. it's individualistic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's funny too. The douchebags are different. Like the douchebags in New York are <laughs> finance bros and the douchebags here are like the failing actors. It's it's the person <laughs> on Instagram in their bio, they have model, actor, musician, DJ, poet. And that's, then you're that's like the douchebag in LA. You're a surfer. You miss crypto. I'm sorry, I miss, I miss, <laughs> that's a different, that's a thing. different douchebag. It's so funny. But I do think there's more similarities than differences differences between that. But when you grow up in a nice, clean city, I can mm. see how New York is a lot like I when I saw Chicago, I was like, okay, this is the cleanest so city I've ever clean. seen. I mean, to be fair, like it burned down, and we said, all right, this yeah. time alleys. This Get time, right we'll, this time we'll do the trash in the back. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. But it's funny in New York, like I don't even see the trash. What? 
What? I, like I know I don't it's see it anymore. It's because you can't see the city. You can only see no, trash. I, uh, yeah, like I just it's not. That's just what New York I, I just, is. I feel like every time I'm there, I'm like, is every day garbage day? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> no, it is. Like, it is. How many times? Like, how could there be trash three out of the seven? At least but, three out of seven days. But it's true. There are just parts of Manhattan that are gross. Like. And then there's parts that are so gorgeous and like tiny streets. And there's so many different areas that you can explore. Um, but like, I'm in New York cause my family's there. Yeah. I think I'm also a care or like a, I'm like a character of routine. Like I love routine. So it's like, mm -hmm. I can eat at the same like 10 places on rotation. Yeah, like same. we go to, so it's like, I feel like people who are super adventurous and want to like go do so many new things all the time. Like New York is so great for them, mm -hmm. but I'm like, I am a homebody. Yeah. I love Postmates yeah. and I love doing like my six social activities and four restaurants. The, the good thing about New York though, is like everything's always open. So like, <laughs> Oh at 1 a.m. Yeah. You're at <gasps> home and you're like, I want Froyo. They're delivering you can go, Froyo yes, to you. Yes, yes, yes. Or, that like, was like a culture shock in LA, even from Toronto, same thing. Things are open forever. And here it's like at 10 p.m. you want something. You're like, oh, everything's closed. Dude, I, I, I've, I've realized I'm spoiled in New York, but I'm also, I'm the same as you. Like, I just want to be with my cat in my apartment. Mm -hmm. But New York, it like, and, and there's, you find your own community. Like people think like, it's like so a big. yard? So <laughs> yards that you're being like greedy at this point. <laughs> we, it's well, this is the key. I, so my husband has a, a family house in West Hampton. So the goal oh, is- Oh, well, bitch, you're okay. living goal, in a different New York life. The goal is, no, why do you think that Long Island and the Hamptons are a thing? Cause you can't be in New York City during the summer. It is so yeah, humid and hot. It's disgusting. So you go to the, the beach Hampton. and you have a good time. So yeah, that's the <laughs> lifestyle that I've been manifesting. And that mm. I, I mean, honestly, why do we get engaged in five months? I realized he had a beach house. Yeah, yeah I get 100%. It. I was like, yeah. I, you murdered someone, done. Not a big we deal. could inherit Whatever. this? Yes. You look bring you look children? Yeah. yeah. Adopt. <laughs> Adopt. <laughs> yeah. Now there was have family My houses in the house. is available. Yeah. My problem is, I, I, okay, I did have a license. It expired and then I took a test and then I failed it. I can't drive. <laughs> so, like, I, I, I'm just living the New York City. Wait, you so. failed a driving test? Okay, I, I don't know. It's on every it, level. It, it, like I turned over the yellow line, and then I parallel parked and like hit the curb, and then I fucking I did run over an old lady. It was a whole thing. I don't think I've ever met anyone that failed a driver's test before. Really? I know. Do you guys do parallel? Do you do parallel parking in yours? Yeah. It's no, hard. No, 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 it's no, not, no, no. Yeah. I so it's like not, it's not easy. my Canadian license like half transferred over to the states where I had to like do the driver's test. Like I didn't have to do like the what, what a lear thing. learner's permit. Learner's permit, yeah. Yeah. And so we just had to that do a driving adorable. test. Hey babe, um <laughs> I need to get my hours in. Will you um Will you sit in the passenger seat? No, yes, I need to get, get my hours in currently. Fucking not. <laughs> But I literally took a driving school lesson because there's so many dumb fucking technicalities yeah. that you can instantly fail if you don't like know exactly like which lines you can and can't touch. I yeah. also developed like a performance anxiety with it. Like I literally got, so, I feel like as you get older, you get more scared of driving. And no. I just, <laughs> you guys are looking at me like and I'm an like, alien right now. <laughs> okay, have you ever seen New York City drivers? They're fucking scary. I, I would never drive in New York. I'm so never, scared. Ever, 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 ever. My first lesson was like in the Bronx and it was just chaos. I would, I would never. I would have gone to like the other side of New York to take the test. I would, no, are you kidding me? I, I would go to Long Vermont. Island. I, I failed in Riverhead. I, you know what? I got really nervous and I like them <laughs> watching me. I suddenly like, I forgot how to turn. Like I literally <laughs> choked so bad. And then I, after I failed, I just felt like a failure and I'm, I'm like refusing to take lessons. You're not going back? I need to eventually. So something, you know what? You can't be, I can't be great at everything. No, I, was, I, I totally was, agree. That yeah. was where I was actually going to go. With this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I need to humble myself sometimes. What what will you talk about on your stand up shows if you're not great at If I'm just at killing yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's yeah. not funny. That's not relatable. That's not relatable. Yeah. That's not relatable. Thank you. But also we've not having driving license, not that relatable. <laughs> People message me like, Are you okay? <laughs> I literally posted, I cried. It's like, it takes taste. a lot for me to cry. Oh my cry. God, I, I would too, that's devastating. No, you're like walking around and someone was just like, ew. Is that on worthless. your, like when you go to the DMV, do they see just like fucking failure? Probably, for sure. Yeah. And the guy literally looked at me as I was failing and was like, you had your license before? <laughs> and I was like, I'm just ha and I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Because uh, in New York City schools, we don't have like junior license, whatever, like, you just, and then I went to college and my teammates drove me around next scenery 24. You know what? A lot of my friends in Toronto, same thing, never had a license. Also, no one could ride a bike and no one could swim. Okay. That's, 
<laughs> just, so they you just can, sleep. You can't <laughs> just, walk there? You're not getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, because the TTC, like the Toronto Transit, uh, TT, T- what is it? Toronto Transit? I don't know. Commission, maybe? TTC. We don't know. Like I, I don't know either, um, apparently. Okay, yeah, I got it. Commission? Toronto, Toronto Transit, Transit Commission. Commission. Oh God, it's only been like five or six years since I've lived there. That was rough. How many times have you been to New York? Lauren, we've been here together for four oh, years. It's um, been a lot longer than like five or six years. six years, seven years? Uh, 15 to 20 maybe? Yeah. And to be honest, like I don't have a, like last time we were in New York, it was amazing. Like we had a great time. Yeah. I just like am easily overwhelmed and get overstimulated really quickly. Yes. And I'm just not, I'm just not made for it. Also love being in like the safe space of my own car. I'm an anxious individual. Yeah, LA people love their car. Eating in love their car is a thing car. apparently. That one's not for me, but I, well, How the, the goldfish, be? the gold, I, th- I was picturing like a whole ass meal. <laughs> I was, the goldfish, yes. Spilling goldfish in Jeremy Do you like, do absolutely. flavors of goldfish? Or just classic. Oh, bitch, fuck me up with some pizza blast. Let's no, go. Okay. Original. I didn't want to bring it up, but original. pizza blast. Original. I get that your tongues have <laughs> have I now can't wait got to, see to the point where you this. need to put extra shit on it. But for us, <laughs> wait, our tolerance is too high. I was going to say, is that, yeah. we, is that our, our palate is more? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wait, I, or is our palate a four year old? Think about it. <laughs> oh, 100%. You go to the nursing home, they're just dumping salt on shit to taste anything again. I dumped salt That's on shit guys. anyways already. Exactly. You just, Next topic. You just call me old. Um, <laughs> your tongue. Not you. You just have an old tongue? No. Well, uh, That's what offensive. it does. Interesting. Turns 31, suddenly I got an old tongue. Start making fun of my tongue. <laughs> Nine more years? Now, I didn't know I have to be insecure about my tongue. Do they do Botox on tongues? What am I supposed Add to fucking do? <laughs> I actually have a friend who has that like weird tongue sensitivity thing where it's got like those deeper, have you seen this like deeper crevices or whatever? Yes, yeah. It looks very scary. It looks like a dry Sahara desert. It's really gross, but they <laughs> Those like- two names? <laughs> no, it looks like you have cuts. It looks like you have cuts yeah. on your tongue and yeah. you like, they can't eat spicy food or <gasps> too sour food because they like, <gasps> ah, ah, it looks yeah. like, you know when like a pug has like a tongue that just perpetually sticks out and it just like dries up and it feels rubbery. That's the tongue that that looks like. Oh, fish your tongue. tongue. Is this a man or a woman condition. that you know? Deep crevice cut. It's Keith from the Try Guys. I, I knew someone who had it. Really? It's our friend Keith. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> Can went- you do something? To change well, what it? he I did was no. What he did was he started an entire YouTube special about eating spicy food. Yeah, did he really with this yeah. ailment? You know and what? Though, spicy it, food is it pizza. It gives like a, <laughs> right. it's like applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> it provides great content though because the reactions you know are like not faked because you know his tongue is like just doing curl the ball stuff. crying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I wonder if he has like other special powers from it. Do you, do you I mean, he's know, super tall. Better pussy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The, the or friction. he's like, oh, it's too spicy, yeah. I can't do it. Can you fucking imagine? Like, oh my God, I would be so sensitive. Oh Actually, God. I'd be so like, like nervous. Like, Did you have onion today? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do on eat list, babe. <laughs> you have to have a strict diet if you wanted to we go down about on you. This. Oh my God. Oh my God, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so engaged in five months, <laughs> um, married about a year after? Year and a half. Ish. Year and a half afterwards. Yeah. yeah, year and a couple months. Did he, like after five, I'm thinking about like five months in, like I'm thinking about what kind of ring Jeremy might've gotten me. And like, I think oh. that it would be okay. It'd probably be pretty good. I feel like you've got good taste, but like, did he, had you guys talked about that or did he just like- So because we're comics early on, he was joking like, I'm going to marry you. Uh-huh. So then I just started sending him links to rings as like oh, a joke. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Not like, it wasn't freaking him out, but like, but also like, plant the seed for the right one. Like men are so easily subconsciously. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, that's not subconscious. That's just I, fucking Yeah, that's obvious. just yeah. conscious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I just was, and I also kind of lied. And at first I was very like against all the marriage traditions. And yeah. I'm like, I just want a pearl ring, like fuck the patriarchy. And then I started <laughs> doing research and I was like, did you see Amrata's ring with <laughs> two diamonds? And he's like, first you want a, a little tiny pearl and then you want two fucking diamonds, pick a side. But I ended up going with like- So we did pick a side and it's how many carrots? Yeah. <laughs> we ended up going with like a, pr- a circle of princel- princess cut with just a gold a band. Cut, yeah. yeah, pretzel. Pretzel cut. Just a pretzel. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I love it. But I, I kind of ended up, 
I change my mind all the time. Mm-hmm. And I, cause I didn't know if he was actually doing it. I was like, mm, now I want it. This like one. a square one. Yeah. And, I this. and then finally he was like, do you want to be involved or not be involved? Okay. And I was like, I love the acts. I love like the, the if impressions. You, if he was like, I do it pretty well. It's pretty accurate. It sounds like you're on the back of a garbage truck, just yelling at people. Yeah, yeah. That's like, literally, oh my God. It's the kind of thing where like, he'll say something to you and you're like, are we in a fight? And he's like, right. no, that's just how I talk. <laughs> <laughs> so New York. But I finally was like, look, I want a, a a princess cut, I want a gold band, uh-huh. and I want like a, a classic. And then with that, he was, he, he kind of nailed it. Oh my God, good. Ooh, yeah. Let's try that again. He nailed it. He nailed <laughs> yeah, he it. Super <laughs> nailed yeah. it and it's perfect. And he we've got- really, he did, you know, he did nail it. And it was funny cause he took me at first, cause I didn't even know what care it was. Mm-hmm. Like when you, it's hard. Cause you, if you haven't planned your wedding from a time when you were little, which some girls do, I was like, not that kind of person where- Oh bitch, I, I had a Pinterest board in grade 12. Yeah, and yeah. that's honestly, that's smart because you don't know when you're gonna meet that person. It mm-hmm. happens or like you're in a relationship and eventually it starts going there. And then I'm like, fuck, I have to make these big life decisions. I don't even thought about what kind of ring I want. <laughs> <So> <laughs> like we went, racket sports. And he had, yeah, he went and we like literally tried on rings at this place and he'd be, like, he'd be like, that's a little large on your finger. <laughs> that makes your finger look weird. <laughs> and we would kind of see, cause you don't know the shape. I also have nubby fingers mm. and I'm you trying to normalize nubby. I do my, with my longer fingernails, they look you more elegant. You have very short fingers. I have very short they fingers. They're a little big, short. Big um, palms. Don't need to brag. Okay. Yeah. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. Big Holy palms. Holy shit. You got, wow. They're, 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 like, they're, like, they're like perfectly, like, they're like balanced. It's like one to one. Yeah. Yeah. So I have small hands. And like, you look at all these Pinterest boards of girls with like the longest, skinniest mm. fingers. You have great fingers. They're okay. They're actually a little meatier than people <laughs> assume Christ. they're going to be. I don't know if it's a fat, like, dude knuckle, but like, I've got a much larger ring size than people expect it to be. But seriously, like, I want to normalize not all fingers looking like skinny and long because I want to see how it looks on my finger. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I feel we like recently went ring shopping and I feel like it's so important to like go and do that. Also, I have a hot take for you. How do you feel about heart-shaped rings? I feel like it's a trend, but if you're that person, you're that person. Someone just got it. Someone just got it. Who just got a heart ring? There was like some like- Becca from The uh, the Bachelor. It it was her heart shape? It looks really good. It's heart shaped Mm. and it looks really fucking good. it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. (laughs) Anybody who likes it needs to reconsider. I, I I just like the classic look that I feel like I could wear this like while playing tennis and I could wear it in a nice outfit and it looks okay. It doesn't look like too gouty. Um, I need to find the heart shape. Wait, wait, wait. That's it. Yeah. Yep. That, that's it. Like on her hand, oh, wait, it looks I cool. Did, wait, is I'll this my, a bachelor? Yeah. She was on the bachelor. Okay. Oh, that's like a Martinez. I feel like I would get my nine-year-old daughter that ring. The thing is, I, I don't, don't like how thick the band is. I don't want it to look like a cocktail ring. Like it looks like you got it out of- Looks like yeah. a costume jewelry. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes people have massive rings and it starts Dude, to look fake. Have you seen Haley? So you see it on Haley Bieber and I'm like, I know that's real because like yeah. Justin obviously can afford that times 10. Yeah. But like when I see rings that big, I'm like, this looks insane. Yeah. Oh my, like look at that thing. It's a boulder. And like, honestly, you want it to be sparkly and sometimes when- <laughs> This is like, you could tell my husband made me think this way. I'm like, if it's too big, it just isn't as sparkly. <laughs> is that what he told you? Is that what he told we you? Were like, we were like literally trying to, and it was, it was a fun time. Cause he'd be like, so if I were to, how many carrots do you think? And I would like say a number and he'd be like, Th- that's insane. Like that's insane. I'm like, I don't fucking know. But I, well, actually I ended up getting a ring that's, 1.99 carats. Always That's what you gotta do. Because if you go slight, don't get the two carat. Yeah. Cause you go the one point nine as a two carat ring. Yes. And um, I like love it. I've had girls who have like four carat rings look at mine and be like, oh, yours actually looks more elegant. Mm-hmm. But I think like two to three carats is beautiful. And you know what? Under two, you can make it work. It's <laughs> relatable. <laughs> It's relatable. Next topic, dicks. Uh, it's like, oh my God. Dicks, you know what? It's so relatable when he's like under three inches. <laughs> it makes you feel, just makes you feel like your vagina's huge. I just had a friend <laughs> have an experience with a micro penis and it was the- Let's do names. <laughs> no, yeah, right, really, this, this one name was. This, this is was, a wild pod, yeah. names on wild till nine. <laughs> We're gonna leave names out of this one. But you had a friend who had um, an experience with a micro penis and it was such a weird, like situation where he didn't, I feel like, I feel like 
the guys that I I can't wait to hear you navigate this one. I know. Let's I'm already fucking so go. fucking nervous. I Ooh. know it's gonna get clipped for TikTok and then I'm gonna get roasted. Like, I'm sorry, so nervous. <laughs> but like I feel like when guys have micro penises, a lot of times they like have a speech ready to like navigate it because they're like in the routine of being like, okay, like what, what, what do you mean they have a speech ready for speech? this? Oh, fuck it, I don't know, I don't have a micro penis. Uh, well, imagine like, for example, <laughs> uh, let's say you had like an STD. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you had herpes. Yeah. When do you tell that person? You don't go on the first date being like, hi, by the way, I have herpes. Like yeah. you want them to see you for you. Okay, so like I had an anxiety attack probably like on our fourth date. And she does. Did you make it that long? Maybe even not. Maybe, maybe third? Not. Yeah. Maybe third, yeah, exactly. Like, hi, my name is Lauren. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and so like, that was a good time to be like, hey, so maybe that was, I, that was a good time to be. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Men told us how having a small penis messed up with their mind. And, okay. And so like, I feel like it's like a really like, like traumatic thing that guys probably like are all consumed And you don't by. know when to tell the person. Yeah. Or like, you know what? It should be right before you fuck. So I feel like she was expecting like, as soon as they started hooking up and she started like touching over his pants, she's like, I felt nothing. She's like, I just got kind of felt like maybe small meaty balls. And she was like, oh my God. So she waited for her pants to come off. <laughs> you can't just fuck those small meaty balls. Why not? <laughs> no, that was meaty great. Balls. That was great. Keep going. Yum. <laughs> meaty Suddenly balls. I could use some Italian food. Literally had them for lunch. Throw in some spaghetti and let's go. Uh, meaty balls. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it rolling. I'm sorry. You just glazed over that. Spaghettios. The little balls. The little yeah, balls well, they, in the spaghettios. No, meaty balls. Meaty small balls. Small nudes. Yes. Meaty ball, small nudes. So when his pants came off, she was like, oh. And like, not to say that like she was like not down anymore, but he just like didn't address it. And she was like kind of waiting for there to be a conversation about it. So anyway, she like just proceeds as normal. And then like later on, after things didn't, weren't super effective, whatever. Yeah. Anything, whatever. Yeah. Uh, what? What? I'm keep going. And they just didn't really end up hooking up because like, I think that he got in his head about it as like, I feel like, I'm so nervous I'm offending the whole micro penis no. community right now. No, you're doing great. I think you're raising awareness. <laughs> well, it's also like, or you'd be like, for example, the first time I saw a guy with um, uncircumcised, mm -hmm. I was, he was normal, he didn't say anything. And then I was like, hey, I've never dealt with this before. What is the best way <laughs> to go about this? And yeah. he was like, go about it like normal. But like, it's not, it doesn't do, it does different things, whatever. It does different things, right. So it's like him get, telling her, communicating and being like, hey, I like it when you do this. Or like, here's like how, yeah, like here's like the best way to like go about this or whatever, yeah, this you, might be new. Then she also feels insecure. Like, oh my God, does he think I am bad at BJ's cause I don't know how to suck on a microphone. <laughs> You can't even Clip get that. that. <laughs> so anyway, he just like never addressed it. And she like kind of brought it up. She was kind of brought it up and she was like, hey, like I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but like I also am like uncomfortable and I just want to like have a conversation about it or whatever. Yeah. And like approach it in like a really mature way. Yeah. And he basically was just like, no, like I just like, it wasn't like, and he just like straight up kind of uh, uh, was like, no, I don't have a micro penis basically, which is in denial. Maybe he's a, this a man is big like time over grower 30s. with some performance anxiety. That's what he was trying to say. Uh, I just thought up the biggest lie I could come up with. That's and literally, that's the way we went with that is it. literally what he said. He said okay. his performance issues. Yeah. He's compensating. I, something. So anyways, they didn't go on another date and it wasn't because <laughs> of the micro penis, it was because of the way that he approached it. Yeah. Well, no, I love that. It's about finding a way to like, connect with the person, find your demons that match other people's <laughs> demons. <laughs> I did not call it a demonic little pee pee, but <laughs> with mini balls. But I, I've actually heard of a guy with like a micro penis and yeah, like you have empathy for it. And also like, let's be honest, you're not only dating guys cause you love their dick. What? There's other factors. What? No, it's only because of the penis. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> What the, wait, do men bring anything else to the table? <laughs> Barely penises. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy's got really good health care that I'm currently after. I was, I was thinking it was going to be such so a better funny. compliment. God damn it. I do think there's something <laughs> hot though about a guy with a micro penis who was like really confident. Well, I just feel like if I ran into the situation, he was like really funny about it and just like approached yeah. it up front. I'd be like, this is amazing. This yeah, is so funny. And if, yeah, like if he just owned it yeah. and like didn't, like honestly, he gaslit her. Uh, uh, he micro penis he gaslit micro her. micro penis, a fucking title right there. He micro penis micro gaslighting. Gaslighting. Wait, wait, there's oh microaggressions and we've got gaslighting. I and feel like we've, we've got just, micro penises. I mean, think about oh it. my God. Dave, I think he actually has a weird hole that just pees in two different we, he's places. He's got a second hole, you yeah. know, little dicky. Little dicky. 
He does. Dave, he's got a second pee hole. Lil so da does it like always hit the wall when he pees also? I think it's like a double stream type of thing. Yeah. Andrew, I'm obsessed with him. His, you, in you, like his uh, career. Like oh, I, yeah, I, his, I, do watch, yeah, yeah. Do I love Dave? his career. I have, I have. I'm not like every episode, but mm -hmm. I've like seen enough. I don't- You gotta get to the double, the double <laughs> pee hole episode. How I'm, could you possibly be obsessed with I'm, Dave without watching Dave? It's just, so good. I just learned that his career, like I love his trajectory, how mm -hmm. it was so not typical. Right. And I found it like inspirational. And then mm -hmm. when I decided I like someone, I don't need to know that much about them. I just was like, I love that man. Okay. And I will stand him all the time. Oh and my God, even though I don't really. <laughs> I'm like, I love the man. I have gone through every tagged photo <laughs> on your Instagram photo. And then like lurked the people that you went to school with in elementary school. I know. <laughs> I just thought like Lil Dicky literally like skipped all these things that you're supposed to do before you ever write like your own That's comedy so show. Yeah. Like in New York, they could be very like, oh, you gotta like get past this club to get to this place to get to that. And he just like believed in himself and you can't put him in a box. And I think he's yep. awesome. And he's genuinely so and fucking now funny. now I know he has like a second stream of pee, which right. is fascinating. Most, most guys are only doing one. Yeah. He's doing two. He's doing two. He's doing two. He's doing yeah. two. He's doing two. <laughs> How was that doing? Yeah. That was actually really good. <laughs> oh my God, but yeah, like, I feel like for the guys with micro peepees out there, like just, just own, own it. shit. Just own just it. And own that's fucking also like go down on her or like do whatever she's obsessed with and also listen to her when she speaks. Whoa, yeah, the last part. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> cut that last part. We don't want that. <laughs> yeah. Let's not, let's not have false information yeah. out there. Fake news, mm -hmm. fake news. No. Well, also you can't do that many things in a row. Guys, yeah, you that was one a lot. or two and then we'll, we'll go to the I next. I went too far. I apologize. Yeah. That was- Can you imagine like uh, if you found out, that, so actually I can't decide if I think someone with a micro penis is more apt to be way over the fucking top to overcompensate for it or just like mm. way under. I feel like there's probably both sides of the spectrum there. Probably. Yeah. Cause it's only there's a handbook on how to navigate micro weenies. Uh, uh, what can you Google? What percentage of men have <gasps> micro peens? That's a great because statistic that I'd like to know about. I do want to, I well, Let's do be clear, whatever know. that stat is, and a hundred percent of men lie about their penis. So mm, that's true. this is a hundred percent false. Oh, thank God. Uh -huh. Have you ever ran into one? No. 0.6%? No. 0.6% of men. That's still, how many people are in the world? Like 8 billion. Yeah. 8 billion. Let's see what that is. I don't know what I would do if I ran into it. I, I would, I, I would probably think, say, uh, well, yeah. I, let's rewind here. I live in the grinder world where okay. I yeah. see it before I go. True. And wow. see it. True. You can experience. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't have to worry. That's actually so wild. But I feel like everyone knows it's like dick shot someone. Actually, you know what's funny? Seen. Micro penises, STD, preferences, everything, all listed on a grinder, grinder profile. Yeah. Yeah. No fucking Micro penises shit. are listed. It's a yeah. menu. Yeah. You're any gay friends? Like you'll, oh yeah. You'll see, you, there's a, a <gasps> part of the profile where you have to say if you're negative or positive. <gasps> Circumcision? And like- Circumcised too? No. Oh, well. Jeremy's making my face. <laughs> no, yeah. you, you, you find out. You find out through <laughs> conversation. Right, through photos. One dating app I've seen for men says whether they are, whether or not they're circumcised. I'm sure that, yeah, I'm there's sure a, it's a thing. I'm, I'm positive there's one out there, just not grinder. Thank God. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, I'll, check my, I'll check my phone, it's fine. Wow. Yeah. It's different. I mean, when I was like, newly single before Jeremy and I downloaded Hinge, I was like, this is a fucking shopping catalog. Like mm -hmm. I can put my age, I can put my height mm -hmm. and just start swiping. Like, this is crazy. Is like every six this foot four guy's shopping. dream. Like I can put my age, I can put my height. Fuck yeah. I have a chance. <laughs> it's true. Literally, I was like over 30 or no, I would have been younger at the time. So I didn't do over 30, but yeah, well, I, like, I was, I'm here. So yeah, here you are, right. And you're 30 now. So that doesn't make sense. But I was like, no one under six foot. Cause it also, yeah, that catches like the five times as well too of the world. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah, we, yeah. But you know, small men deserve love too. Short Kings. That's my new thing. Yeah. No, no. hundred percent. Short I mean, Kings. I would never, but some, Men. someone will. Yeah. Someone will. But it, that's also, I do want to say that's my own insecurity insecurities growing up as an athlete, like I was very like muscular and strong mm -hmm. and, and I wanted to be powerful. And then when I'm with a dude, I want to feel like a tiny little flower. Like a little so bit, I need, little I like, I always went for like the massive ones. Seven like, foot three yeah, linebackers. I've, I've, yes, yep. like six, nine, like they make Christ. a smoothie Damn. in the blender and then just walk out holding the blender. As like their cup. Yeah. Massive shit. I mean, most of their brains are mush because they've been hit so hard so many times, mm -hmm. but- um, But at least they can pick you up. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And that, was game changing. Pick but, woman up now. Yes, yes. Place here. <laughs> yes, but some of them I realized later, like they can be boring, but mm -hmm. you, when you're young, you don't, you're having too much fun. They can pick you up. They can, they pick, can pick you up I, though. Whenever nothing's happening, you're just like, ping <laughs> 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 up, 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 up. That's me. That's what's like to date me. Up. <laughs> what's dating tennis guys like? 
Ooh, tennis oh, yeah. guys. It's actually similar to comics. Like it's it's a very like individual thing. Huh. So like there's a lot of egos in mm, tennis because they're not on a team. Them. Right. Yeah. They're the fucking. If right. they're the shit, they're the shit. Yeah, it's them. And it's a lot of like you. You're always analyzing yourself. It's honestly so diff- similar to comedy because huh. your comedy. You're always talking about yourself. It's about you. Yeah. Um. So tennis guys, they are very attractive. Um. They have like good bodies. Like they're not too muscular, too skinny. They're like lean fit. Yeah, but they're yeah. psychotic because tennis <laughs> is just such a uh, emotionally abusive sport. Like to put yourself out there for three hours alone, just playing like a physical chess Richard. game. Yeah. You get it. It's <laughs> no, that was a great movie. Oh, that was great. Great movie. Really good movie. Tennis is just like you have to have some self hate. Okay, to be so into then it. tell me, okay, what is your you what do you think is the the best sport that an athlete can play to hook up with and the worst? Oh, okay. Like if you're Spectrum. you're in college, you yeah. just mm-hmm. got yeah, to yeah. college and you're looking at all the athletes. Mm-hmm. I love a baseball guy. What? Baseball players have great asses. They have great. Th- uh, wait, what? wait, wait. How do you not know this? Obviously. Baseball players have dope trucks. This is the thing about baseball players. They're not like too intense, you know? Because they're like, you know, they're in the outfield. They're there's chilling. also a bajillion people on their team. Yeah, there's a lot of people on their yeah. team. So their their heads aren't like that big. The they're, sport literally lets them chew tobacco in the middle of it. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're more like chill where some other guys like the basketball guys are honestly too tall. It's, it's too tall. It's gangly. Whenever anyone sees them, they go, you're so tall. Yeah, like do you play like basketball? Every single conversation, you're like, I get it. He's tall. It's so fucking annoying. And then like the football guys are just being hit too hard. Yeah. Like it's, dummies. They're, it's true. A little mushy. A little mushy up in the membrane. And then tennis guys, like it's like too intense. Wrestler guys, way too fucking intense. Oh. Mm. Swimmer dudes, they have to wake up way too early in Hairless. the morning. And mm. yeah, and they're hit, hit no. Mm. Um, like you're scratching soccer them. Soccer guys, honestly, too European for me, but that's just my own taste. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, am I forgetting any sport? No, you've covered golf, all sports. Golf is like a little too preppy. Okay. Like they're like, yeah. it's like, we gotta, your dad has money, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the cross. The cross. Oh, no. Let's, <gasps> like my friend, it's a horrible joke, but my friend is like, we don't hook up with lacrosse guys because we like consent. Um, <gasps> ping pong, not a real sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, lacrosse is bad. Bad news. It's, it's oh, and then I've totally forgot. Hockey is the worst. Oh, you would know. It is the before God. I went to college, my mom gave me one piece of advice and she was like, stay away from the hockey players because they all go to this junior college beforehand. So by the time they get to your college, they're like five years older uh, than everyone. They're missing teeth. They have mm-hmm, STDs mm-hmm. and they like just hang out with guys all the time. So they, they're in this like really like misogynistic bubble. vibe. Yeah. Bubble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Where they, and they're also like dumber than the football guys most also, of the time. Also, the hockey accent is insane. Oh, and they, they're like, oh, you're gonna chirp me. They have all these like yeah, yeah. stupid little things hey, they say. buddy, like, oh, <laughs> it gives me, I literally just got chlamydia hearing you say that. Like, I hate it so much. But have I met hockey guys that are good people? Yes. I'm Not sure there's, all hockey there's, guys. There's guys in every but sport I'm, that if are I okay. Had a, Mike, if I had a daughter, I would literally be like, stay the fuck no away hockey. from them. No hockey bros. No hockey. Once a hockey guy asked me, what a major is like that's what we're dealing with that's tough they're they're but this is a problem they're really hot some of them are bow-legged but like the hockey guys are hot <laughs> bow-legged they're, they're all bow-legged and some have no teeth but some have know, no teeth but veneers the, are great the hockey guys are hot they are for some reason they just really are i mean like Very it depends on like there's like the playoff beard though too where it's like exotic <laughs> you can't you can't shave the beard during playoff season so like that becomes a whole again, new thing with like, like the facial hair shut is. up no one cares about your facial hair sir <laughs> no one cares at all like what you were lazy for a month and you're like making it all, like everything is about their fucking like beard no one cares no one cares um so yeah i think the baseball guys are the best you know what though? I've always heard that baseball guys, and again, this is a massive generalization, but no, baseball no, this guys is, this is all facts have here. the most games, I think, of all of like the professional Ooh. athletes. And so oh. baseball guys are cheaters unless their wife can go with them. Okay, that is a great, great point. Because I we were not talking about professional. If you say who should you be with oh, in like Mary, in like Mary? don't. <laughs> Okay. Like just, just no. don't like have fun in college, but mm. like don't date a professional, don't marry a professional athlete. That's insane. Unless if you just like, again, want to just support someone else's career and he potentially cheats on you all the time. And then 
when he retires, he has no idea what he's doing with his life and he spent all his money on your kink coke is trauma. and strippers. What? Your kink is trauma. Yes. And then mm-hmm. yes. athletes are great. Okay. Yes. Uh, reverse question. What women do you think would be the best sp- uh, athletes to hook up for guys? That's the question. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Obviously tennis girlies. No, we're uh, insane. We're actually insane. <laughs> they tend to love the soccer girls. I don't think that I actually ever hooked up with a tennis girl ever. But, Cause there's not a lot. There's only eight of us on the team. Right. And like. That's small. Yeah. And yeah. But the soccer girls, people like, cause they're a good like community. They're very like normal, the soccer girls. I feel like a lot of girls get yeah. into soccer. Yeah. Uh, um. yeah. My university was like yeah. so like metropolitan that we barely had any sports teams. Like you didn't go to my university for sports. No. So we didn't like have a football field. Like- That's so <laughs> funny. It was downtown Toronto. It was like literally at like Young and Dundas, like the center of Toronto. Volleyball, what am I fucking thinking? I was, no, I was about to say volleyball is like, the hottest outfit. Hottest outfit for sure. I mean, to the point that I'm like, did, why are, what? Like dudes for sure designed that. Like, yeah, like I was like, is that yeah. like, why in volleyball 100%. you have to have your labia lips out? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, they're, I mean, some of them are like very, very tall. So if you're insecure about that's on you. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the volleyball girls mm-hmm. have the like cutest outfit. Um, and then, I mean, honestly, every girl who's an athlete, I feel like has part of their um, confidence from something that like isn't just looks or like attention from men. And I think that makes them um, kind of grow in a way that's that's good. And I do think like, I want to put my daughter, like not force her, but it would be, it's not, it's good for like your, your confidence your, yeah, to your be in sports, to not always be kind of like wanting to, you can decenter men from your life for so a little. So do you think, okay, would you rather your daughter be funny or good at sports? You cannot have both. Ooh, for sure funny. Yeah, for sure funny. I love for that. Sure Life funny. will be so much better if you're love funny. Love that. Love that. Oh my God. If my daughter has a bad sense of humor, we're disowning her. Yeah, right, exactly. Mm. We'll try again. Mm-hmm. We'll try again. Because <laughs> laughter is the one thing that I've consistently been able to turn to during hard times in my life where mm-hmm. like sports has caused the hard times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like when I lose, I find a way to joke about it is Got the kind it. of thing. And I'm, I've learned that, yeah, having a sense of humor gets me through shit where like sports 100%. is a hobby. Hundred percent. Yeah. Would you rather have an OnlyFans daughter or an NFT son? <gasps> OnlyFans daughter. Hundred percent. They print that was money. Hundred percent. NFT son. Oh my god, that was what a volatile yeah, question. Yeah, that was a great question. That was so good. Insulted, I love her immediately going. Him so we also honest. we also have like a lot of both of those in our lives. Wait, so do I want a rich daughter or a poor son? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. When did they invest in do Bitcoin? Do you want a genius daughter or delusional oh, boy? Oh, you know what? Maybe it was crypto son. Crypto, <laughs> yeah. That's where I you're mean, making NFC the money. Crypt- I don't know. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. You okay. picked the right one. We have a game. We have a game. Um, Love a game. I, I titled it um, very <laughs> originally Culty or Not Culty. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I love cults. I know you love cults. Wait, I love cults. So we're gonna we're gonna maybe workshop this title. <laughs> Wait, do you do graphic design? Cult or no cult? Yeah. <laughs> culty or not culty? He's not for hire. Get off of him. <laughs> okay, so um, do we feel like they're culty or do we not feel like they're culty? I'm obsessed. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> literally the first cult that was ever created, Boy, Boy Scouts, Scouts of America. <laughs> Everything about this is culty, the way they're wearing the same outfit, the way they all are like praising America and the way, oh, I, I want, literally want to bully them all. The middle guy. The middle guy. I the know. middle guy. Yeah. They're, they're confused. They're lost and they're trying to sell cookies and it's not okay. No, the boys never did the cookies. It was only the girls. It's girls. Yeah. yeah. Again, sexist. Oh, we're baking. We're baking in the kitchen. What the fuck is that? The girls no, print boys money apparently. Are, they're problematic, the Boy Scouts of America. There was, mm. I even like watched this whole thing about, yeah, there's a lot of abuse and there's like murders that happen. <gasps> Look into it. That's a documentary right I got there. A, fun a fact. lot of abuse. Um, I asked to be in the Boy Scouts when I was um, a, a young boy. And my mom uh-huh. said, Boy Scouts are for boys with dads. I'm <gasps> sorry, you can't be in Boy Scouts. <laughs> that <laughs> is like, horrible. Jesus, mom. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> boy Scouts are for boys who have a dad who loves them. Yeah. And- <laughs> That doesn't apply to you. So you know what though? I feel like um that <laughs> it, I'm better for it. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Thank good you, Donna. Call. Yeah. I feel like um she goes, that's Boy toxic Scouts masculinity. did some good PR work though when they had um They hired a woman. <laughs> oh yeah, nailed up. it. Yeah. Up? Up. Remember the movie Up? The like one with the clown? Definitely no oh, clown. Jesus. No. House of the House and Balloons. Oh. Remember the House of the Balloons? Yes. The one that wasn't and fucking psychotic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was, I feel like, the only like good thought that I have associated with uh, Boy Scouts. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, remember this okay. little guy? Yeah, again, a cartoon. And I'm also didn't have a father like. figure, I think. Maybe. Also, it's like all I think that like they teach you how to like make knots. Like what is they're like, I don't know. I just think if there's too much men in one place, mm. bad things happen. Testosterone, too much of it. Too much of it and bad things happen. Okay, yeah. culty. culty. Like fast forward a few years, like, gets into bondage, but doesn't let her go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook mom groups is, are uh, literally, well, okay, they're a version of a cult and it's called a pyramid scheme, a multi-level marketing scheme. Yeah, yeah. I'm obsessed with multi-level marketing schemes. I'm obsessed with them so much. It, and cults and multi-level marketing <laughs> schemes happen. We can be talking like a TED talk. No, we, we did a whole episode because we have a friend who was deeply ingrained in MLM. He's mostly out now, <gasps> but he like walked us through the whole thing. It was but incredible. It's the same kind of people who go into MLMs who go into cults where like you're yeah, kind of 100%. lost. Yes. You, you're, you're a high functioning smart person, but mm -hmm. you like feel like you have just no purpose. And yeah. they give you this like false purpose that any like logical person would be like, there's no way you're going to make money from that. There's no way this cult or leader is actually going to solve your problems. But when you're in a dark place, you do crazy shit. Like sell like, skincare. Exactly. But not just in Our the leggings. weirdest of ways. Really, you sell somebody else's wallet to buy skincare. <gasps> it's wild. Yeah. I love this photo of the mom. College athletes. Oh my God. Okay. What do you have to say about that? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think like you're leaning not culty on this one. I was leaning not culty because it's more of like, um, She's still in this if you cult. say communities, like that's what culty mm. people say. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying it's, it's more like there's this, you're there because they're paying you to be there. Mm. And you like, there's moments where like, you don't want to do shit, but you're like, I'll lose my scholarship. Right. So it's more of just like a dysfunctional, um, like power dynamic. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. about for athletes that are not being paid to be there? They're in a cult. No, they're more like, like they always quit eventually. Right. Like got they'll it. do it for two years and be like, okay, now I want to party. Got it. Okay. Which, but I get. Sororities and fraternities. Were you in a sorority? No, my sorority was like my tennis team. Like okay. we didn't have time because I was. you play so much and you right. travel on the weekends. Um, sorority and fraternities. I think it depends on the leader of it. I, I think if the leader Ooh. like likes power a lot, it's immediately a cult. Fun fact, Jeremy was a fraternity president. <laughs> that is the most, that is the least surprising thing I've heard this entire podcast. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait, okay, wait, but how about this with this dynamic? He also was on an acapella reality singing show. Where does that measure up to that? I remember you cult. telling me this. Yeah. That okay. part's the cult for okay. sure. Okay, for sure. acapella singing groups are full <laughs> cults. Cult. Full cults. Cult. This is the most fun segment I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Wait, what is what was your leadership style? What? At, at the, the frat. At the uh, I can't wait. This is a great did question. You is? Pl plausible deni deniability. Um, <laughs> no, my leadership style was very much like I try and find a way to make the people who are your biggest problems feel like they have false control over things. So that way they're too distracted to take their fucking anger and aggression out on people that don't deserve it. Wait, that is the most genius thing I've ever heard. It was only that worked. What the, that is so genius. And I wish I did that in moments in my life with groups. Mean? Yeah, like the person who's gonna be the problem, if they feel like they're in control, then like they can fucking like exert their so shit. So you're able to like, that's great leadership because you're able to detach from your own ego of oh. your own power to make them feel like they have power so that everyone overall feels good. I don't, I don't think I ever thought it that far through, but yes. No, but it's true. Cause think about like everyone's boss that you hate, mm -hmm. it's always their own power trip. And a good manager is actually someone that makes ev ev like they feel like they're working for you. Like your manager will do anything for you versus yeah. you them being like, what are you doing for me? That's Des. No, I'm just kidding. That's the same voice. Yeah, very close to being cults depending on the leader. What yeah. are you doing for me? What are you doing for me? Okay. CrossFit Ooh. is full on a cult. Because <laughs> they talk about it so much and they've lost purpose of like what it actually, like, is it actually good for you? I'm pretty sure everyone gets injured three days in. Oh my God, my mom broke her, broke her hand doing CrossFit. Yeah, and that like, it becomes yeah. like, it's more about like being able to be around the people who are doing yeah, it. Yeah, but think about it, you get to split, peer a, pressure. A split a purple hair dye with your best friends. <laughs> you have to dye your hair purple if yeah. you start doing CrossFit. Well, she went pink on the other side. Well, so. no, you know what faded. it's giving, which mm. is full cult? Hot yoga. 
CrossFit is giving oh. hot yoga. Like that same situation yeah. where you're like, we just have to keep pushing ourselves for this greater good. And you're I like, will, what is the greater good? I would good? rather die than do hot yoga. Genuinely. Did you watch the documentary on it on Netflix? There's like a huge documentary There's of how documentary? it was a, the guy who invented hot yoga was like a very abusive leader. And like, it was a very like trendy thing in LA. It started. Oh yeah, um, this makes sense. Um, the amount of people who try to get me to do hot yoga. I, I don't even like yoga to begin with because I, I'm like thinking about my to-do list. I can't like, do you want to do yoga while being super dehydrated? Yeah, exactly. And wanting to pass out the entire time. Because <laughs> you're it's, physically dying. But yeah, they, they con he convinced people like that it was this like movement that was so incredible. Huh. And then was able, people just looked at him like he was this God and he would like train people oh and get God. them to pay uh, him. And then he would abuse them. And it was bad. And CrossFit fully is unsafe. Okay. Like, have you, ever, have you ever like known anyone who's super, super fucking dope at what they do to the point where like, no, you can't go to anybody but them. They always give away their time for free to very few people. And then people yes. like that are like, no, no, no. I'm going to create a program. Yes. <laughs> for everyone to come to my room and have a meeting with me. In a hot, And then sticky, they sell their program to get people to teach their program to people below them. Exactly. And then they teach he their program. He literally had a mic, that's what hot yoga was. It was a multi-level marketing <laughs> yeah, yeah. cult. By the way, when this is done, let's make a religion together and sell that. Cause I think that would be great. I mean, they, I literally arrived in LA and it said like core church. And I was on the phone, I was like, oh my God, I just saw my first cult church. He goes, I think that's a gym. And I'm like, no, it's a cult. <laughs> it's a cult. I mean, it's, it's pretty much Scientology. Uh, yeah, tomato, whatever. Hillsong. Jesus. Oh my God, I'm so happy you brought this up. Goop is definitely a cult. Poosh wants to what be a cult. Poosh? I agree. Poosh is Kourtney Kardashian's like lifestyle blog, basically. Goop will convince you that like you need to buy a five thousand like, dollar eat like, your placenta after birth, like lift weights with your vagina. It's basically like, do you want to be rich and famous vibes like Gwyneth? Yeah, okay. it's like let's be honest. You got me so far. It's just nepotism. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then you have to like <laughs> buy all these things and do all these kind of wellness things, and it's like a real lifestyle of like stupid wealth. What am I shoving up my vagina? Weights. Okay. Honestly, anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's like trendy for the time. And then Poosh mm -hmm. is Kourtney Kardashian created it and it's like her own lifestyle block. But she's like, she was very healthy and stuff like that. Um, vegan. It's just kind of them trying to put their lifestyle onto you. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked that Poosh had zero like original products. They've done like collaborations with other brands and they like basically just curate other things to shop, which I'm sure they like get a cut of or whatever, but they don't have a single original like Poosh product of any kind. Yeah, especially when like all her sisters are all doing these like- Hella products. Yeah, yeah, hella products. Yeah. Oh my God, that was so- California of us to say hella. Really? I feel like I, I brought hella with me from Toronto and then no one said it here. And I was like- You know what hella is? Like, apparently San Francisco, they say hella. Very oh, NorCal. Yeah. yeah. NorCal. I think we start one of these, but for dogs called Smoosh. Smoosh? Yeah. Okay, done. Wait, that's cute. Thank you. Where are you from originally? Rockford, Illinois. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's fine. We went over that. Yeah, yeah. and you're from New York. Mm, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Imagine, imagine if I was like, what? Well, actually it's <sighs> Syracuse. Okay. <laughs> no. K-pop fandom. I don't Ooh. know that much about K-pop. I'm not going to lie. Be careful. I know I was going to say. I, may, I know she's looking at me. She's Trend like, don't lately. do it. Um, they are the greatest thing that ever happened. Yep. And that's just people who have good taste. Yep. I got it. Same. Great answer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next yeah. <laughs> I know a lot about them, but I'm so, so bidet owners. That is so funny. I, someone told me something that was very powerful about bidets. <laughs> I can't wait for this. They were basically like, okay, so you know how you brush your teeth? Like imagine if you brush your teeth without water or floss. That's like what it's like not using yeah. a bidet. And I was like, <gasps> oh my God. And then like, let's be honest. I think people in Europe just like are superior to us in a lot of ways, mm. like certain food stuff. I consider it like, I think of like Tokyo and like yes. Japan, their bidet culture is in- Oh my God, I heard in Japan, like you don't do anything. <laughs> you <laughs> they don't. Like, they poop for you. They poop for you. And they also give you a different soundtrack and different options in public <gasps> bathrooms. And it like warms your butt. Warms too. your butt. Yeah, yeah, you get a massage. You get a during, massage. You're like, why is that their game so much better? Because it's like hyper politeness and you're trying to be courteous. Like, I don't want you to hear my poops. So yeah. Yes. I'm gonna give you rainforest sounds yes. while also massaging your butt cheeks. Oh my God. So yeah, I do think bidets <laughs> are just like something that, but it's funny, they, it won't stick in America. I know. 
God won't stick. Uh, all right. <laughs> I would love a bidet, but we just don't have like the the proper. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be it. honest. I haven't gotten a bidet because I feel like if I do, then I get addicted to it, and then whenever I don't have a bidet, I'm gonna mm. feel weird. Dude, my friend at the gym, she has a bidet at home, and she when she has to poop at the gym, she is like, I feel. I'm gonna disgusting. go home. I'll be right back. Yeah, like she's I just, like she can't. I function. don't want to yeah. live that level of cleanliness because uh-huh. she then literally I'll be waddles around. She's like, it's on me. No. <laughs> it's oh my god. Me. No. <laughs> See, I like living like my. Ignorance Dumb is bliss. Ignorance, Ignorance is bliss. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. we all have shit in our bottles right now and we love it. Matt King is a huge bidet. That doesn't support. He also loves like, yeah, yeah, that, that. But it, he has, he, it's just like a thing that you can put on any <laughs> toilet though. Yeah, yeah, there's a cold water, needs, cold water. It, yeah, yeah, that's I mean, right. You don't yeah, want, that's like, I would need warm water. Like, where's the water coming yeah. from? Currently I don't have any water, but if I did need water, <laughs> it would need to be room temperature. Warm, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I do love the, but imagine people are like, vegan, bidets. Like that's just what they say. Circumcised. It's in your dating profile. <laughs> yeah. Micropene bidet owner. Normalize it. Full cult. Disney is a cult. Disney's a cult. Because, like their whole like year annual pass. I'm like, they get people, they suck you in. That's They're like, expensive. cancel all your plans. And yeah. And the fact that adults are so into it, like from a young age, they, they groom you so that by you're an adult and you have money, then you just like keep putting money into the machine. How about Club 33? I don't know what that is. Look it up. <laughs> you just got so excited. This you is go, like, look this is up. exclusive look Disney. Oh, like I'm not worthy of the Club 33. A number of private dining clubs look, okay, that is where like you know bad you, things happen. You know how you get in? Someone dies. Sucking Mickey Mouse's dick, what? <laughs> Someone has to die and fall <laughs> off the list. Okay, I want to read it out loud for people to, oh, yeah. for, First opening, whatever. It's new. It's modeled after executive VIP lounges created from the World's Fair and their private dining clubs within the various Disney parks. So it's like it's like a Delta twenty five thousand dollars up front for membership, and then ten thousand every year that afterwards. Is so fucking embarrassing. Members will pay. It's like Delta Sky Club in, yeah, in Disney. Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate to like hurt people who are into this stuff, but it's like. It's a rip off. So you don't want to come with us next week? <laughs> Actually, yeah. wait, you, By the way, you guys are going to bed. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> One of our like fourth or fifth dates was to Disney with like a big group of friends that was going. Yeah. And it's the last time we went to Disney with back. her. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to yuck someone's yum, but when it gets to the point that like you're like <laughs> missing your like <laughs> grandpa's funeral because so, like you want to see an adult dressed up like a mouse, like that's on you. That's on you. That's on you, bro. I can't even tell you how many times that exact situation has come up in my life. Oh my God. Is there more? I think there's one more. Yeah, the last one, finale. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, it says Diet Coke. So Diet Coke is not a cult. Diet Coke is a substance abuse problem. (laughs) (laughs) And no one talks about it because my husband has a full addiction to it. How many a day? Like what what does it have to be to to register as an addiction? it's, It's to register as an addiction, you're having it every day because one a day is an addiction, I think. I mean, but like no no person drinks one Diet Coke at a time. That's a thing. You can't like he'll have, you just keep having it. And like, there's no time of the day that they don't have it. Like they wake up, they have it. They have it at night. Oh my God. Or, or it's also the kind of thing that like, if I get him like a normal Coke, he's like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, it's Coke. And he's like, I need a Diet Coke. And I'm like, it tastes better I, than a Diet Coke. He's like, no, Diet Coke tastes I better. Like, you know, at this point, you know there's a difference. For you, sure. For him. Well, I know, but I'm like, why would you think the thing with real sugar tastes worse? Like, I mean, are you sick? Oh my God, Coke tastes so good. It's like tastes, insane. I like recently had real Coke and I, I was like, I know. You're like oh, oh my oh, God. I literally orgasmed. Yeah. But Diet Coke has some shit in it. Like it's heroin. Aspartame. Yes. And people are- they're like, oh, there's no sugar, there's no calories. And I'm like, then what the fuck is in it? Mm-hmm. It's Something not good. Bad. It's not good. I'm not saying it's, it's heroin, good. but I've never seen that. I probably diet together. Coke twice a week. Ew. But I'm like super caffeine. I used to be really caffeine intolerant. <laughs> so like, like <laughs> gross. 35 milligrams of caffeine in a Diet Coke before used to make me like, woo. Yeah, yeah. And so that was like my caffeine intake, but now I can okay. I can do a 200 yeah. milligram. It's, it's surprising that you've only had two a week. Like normally people can't just- dip their toe like that. Hmm. But I mean, we can, we can up it. Should we up it? Like, no, absolutely <laughs> should we, not. Should we up the dose? What's your soft drink of choice then? It's funny. I actually don't drink soda okay. that often. I'm very into like child drinks. I like apple juice. Huh. 
I like I drink Gatorade because I'm like Capri a, Sun. Capri no, Sun. You drink Juicy actual juice? Gatorades? I drink actually like because growing up, that's what you drink. Like as an athlete, I didn't realize there was a time where people were like, "This is straight up sugar." I literally yeah. just read this article about how people were saying that like Gatorade is for like like MVP athletes who are winning like Grand Slam titles, and then also like like violently hung over people and no one in the middle drinks Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, I, I will literally like, just during the day be like, I need fucking Gatorade. Wow. And I'll drink it. Like, <laughs> Gatorade. But it is huh. bad for you. I think now people, there's like better options. Yeah, I think so too. Than yeah. when we were growing oh, up. We, we got the tail end of like, Eh, it's like probably the, fine. Yeah, the fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah like yeah. Yeah. like Powerade always gave me diarrhea and I just was like, mm, That's just whatever. what you drink. <laughs> whatever. Sick. The sugar content contributes to tooth decay. That's yeah, fine. that makes sense. Yeah, that whatever. explains that, that a lot. That does check out. Yeah, it really does. Big I also, I like to joke that like, some people love the like um, bubbles. They love- Carbonation. Carbonation, oh, thank you. I fucking love they love carbonation. It, but like for me, I'm like, that's just like spicy water. Spice, I love spicy I'm like, water. That is like the spicier, the better. <laughs> Hannah, she drinks sparkling water at the gym. No, my parents are upset. That's very European of you too. I'm in kidding. Italy, they're always. I have, I have sparkling, sparkling water, water running through my veins at all times. Like, but my I thing is like, like, it's like it hits. Like I don't know if you guys are gonna get this, but I feel like it's water if it was in like um, musical theater. It's like ah 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 ah. Hmm. It's just too much. Uh, you've offended the musical theater community now. I know. I'm and so and the sparkling water lovers and the so micro penis and <laughs> And Disney, pretty much everyone. Yeah. Um, but you know what? If you go so negative, it turns out positive. That's true. But yeah, this well, my parents love seltzer, oh, and they I give it to me, it. and I'm like, I'm thirstier after drinking this. Oh my god! I literally, I have such a hard time drinking regular water. I could drink it lukewarm. It, but also, water to me is boring. Like I don't even like normal water. Lukewarm, I have such a hard time drinking water. normal water. I have such a hard time. So when you're at a restaurant, yeah, and they go, "Do you want regular or sparkling?" You're the person that says sparkling. Fucking yeah. Or actually I'm the person who says, can I get a club soda? Because then they bring you like a giant ass glass of club soda, which is just sparkling water basically. You yeah, know, it's not too late for me to get back out of this thing. That's right. That's, that's <laughs> I, I, we had a moment where he we both looked at each sparkling other. Water. Because you like it. You would rather drink tap? Has she been forcing you? I would drink bottled, but yes, she has been. <laughs> I would drink bottled. That is <laughs> so funny. Give us funny. a sign like, if you're give trapped. Us a okay. yeah. <laughs> no, like I always go, who the fuck is saying sparkling? It's or me. if you're with a group of people, you'd be like, we all want sparkling. And it's everyone's me. like, Lauren. No, I, I have some friends who are violently against it. No, she'll have me go up before they ask and say, bring the sparkling first. <laughs> Wait, you tell them, tell everyone that we only have sparkling. That options. is so fun. I'm learning so much about you. Um, I'm a hole for sparkling. What cult would you join? If you had to. No, 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 no what, no, what's the cultiest thing that you're a part of? Oh, great oh, question. Shit. So I'm also, I love learning about cults and I love judging cults, but I also am fully self-aware that I would join a cult. Like everyone's like, who would, mm. okay, I'm the kind of person that like when I'm down and if you look at me, <laughs> you're like, you could be great at this. Like, <laughs> like I am, cl I will a hundred percent. I will, I'm like in. tennis was a cult. Like it was fully like, you believed that you were gonna become the best. And like what I would fully join a cult. The biggest cult I've ever been in, and I've been talking about it recently is a bachelorette party. I was gonna put that on our culty or not culty bachelorette list. Bachelorette parties are yeah. full Wait, of cults. You're big into true crime too. Yes. That's uh, kind of giving culty vibes these days. True mm. cult, like the whole culture of it like all. Like being obsessed I with- I mean, I feel like girls now are just like love true crime. I th Yeah, it's cause you can never like, I like reminding myself my day could have been worse by yeah. watching mm. true crime. How fucked up. Okay, so the, <laughs> the bachelorette thing, I need to hear this. Should I just do my bit? Like, yeah. <laughs> should I just do my bit? <laughs> well, I do, I do joke that like, let's say Stephanie's in charge. Okay, <laughs> love Stephanie. Like, she chooses you to be part of like something bigger. You're so right. They choose you with like a, a gift usually. And you hear these horrible bachelorette stories like I had to pay three grand and you're like yeah. fucking idiot. But then like your friend chooses you. Mm. And then she brings you to like a random location mm -hmm. and you're all like, she'll like yell at someone and you'll literally be like, she's under a lot of pressure. It's fine. <laughs> and you start making excuses for her. And then she... <laughs> You then are like blackout. You haven't spoken to your family. You've spent hundreds of dollars towards it. You don't even know why. And if you say to anyone, like, is this kind of like a lot? They'll be like, do not support Stephanie. You have to be like, no, 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 no. I'm here for her. And then you have to give speeches about how great she is. Mm. Wait, I'm like, she's not that fucking great. You've just known her since second grade. She doesn't light up a fucking room. And then like how you all wearing the same out ugly mm. outfits with the same color. Oh, so yeah, that's the, that's the weird part. You have oh, that's when you got weird. Listen, can you, if a, group of guys all wearing the same thing walk into any place together like but yeah and they're not robbing it girls love matching and they're shit. not part of like uh what is it those like dance 
Um, they're not part of what was the same you were part of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And if they're not busting out into song or robbing the place, yeah. it's weird. What are we doing? I mean, when the girls make everyone wear the same bikini, I'm like, we have different bikini types. This is, yeah. uh, this is yeah, 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 fucked yeah. up. But like, you get part of this bigger thing. And then the, she has so much power. Like, mm-hmm. you get so much power when it's your back. Because I had one. And like, everyone is just like looking up, like, she found one dick for life. What does she want? Let's celebrate. <laughs> so yeah, I joke that like Scientology started in Charleston. I love that. That's so nice. But it did start it really in Missouri. Is, it really is like a temporary, Joseph, temporary cult. Shout out my guy. It's, it is a cult that like, gets rotated. Yeah, rotated. Yeah. Um, and Throw your friend group. Yeah, it's scary. Watch out. I just think don't get too close to your friends because you don't want to be- I've been doing my best. You don't yeah. want to be a bridesmaid. Like you just don't. What? Literally, Jeremy, he's just like, also dudes just like have a different relationship where they just like won't talk for six months and then like everything's six fine. My God, I <laughs> just saw mean? you. Like all of his guy friends text me cause they're like, Jeremy's not texting me back. And I'm like, I'm not his mother fucking assistant. I was like, so- I, I, this is not, oh, yeah. and this guys is not will like get the- into like huge fights in the next day. Be like, who do you want to hang out with? And he's like, I'm going to go out to lunch Randy, with Randy, Randy and are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah Randy yeah. and like, are good. You just fucking physically like, fought him. I feel like Randy could say like the most fucked up thing to you. And the guy would be like, mm, Randy gets like that sometimes. We love <laughs> Randy and I'm like he literally cursed out your mom. Yeah, but like my mom, like you know, where girls like someone do so much though, and you're like, I can't trust her. Yeah, I can't trust her ever. Trust is gone. You can't yeah. talk to her again. Uh-huh. You have to pick a side. Two Unfollow times her in a row. Instagram. My nail color, her nail color. <laughs> I got them first. She's watching. Randy could literally murder fuck your my dog yeah, and yeah. fuck your mother, and you'll be like. Like, just I've Randy. Known him Get since it, it's just, it's just yeah. Randy. I've known him since seventh grade. That's so Randy. And like, we love but him for that. I gotta be honest. This is the one time I'm signed with guys. Oh yeah, it's, it's no, but, but I would argue like some people, it's good to get them out of your life. Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. Well, by the way, if, if I don't feel that way the next day about like, oh, he's forgiven. I'll just never speak to him again. Yeah. I mean, it's exhausting yeah. being like a petty girl thing. Exhausting. Oh my God. It's so, it's so exhausting to be in friendships where like, you know, they like want to be upset about things mm-hmm. and you're like walking on eggshells. You're like, I just don't want to piss her off. I'll say no fucking egg. landmine at yeah, any moment. Exactly. Yeah. Like you just know that she wants to fucking fight about something. It's like and you're she's like, been listening to our living room. It's great. <laughs> and no, it's great. Wait, so, in, okay. Now that you are married, newly-ish, mm-hmm. do you feel like you hang out most with your your husband or are you still doing s- single, but- with your husband, great, like what's, great what's question. the social dynamic now? Great question. So I do love having like, like he's my best friend. Like we enjoy a lot of things together besides <laughs> for, sex. There was air quotes for the people I on know, audio. But it yeah. sounds like so fucking corny and I hate it. You're married. But I'm married, I know. Honestly, being a wife is chuggy. Like- There it is. <laughs> what does that mean? It just means like lame. Okay. Like, 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 um, when he, this is my, do I look like a wife to a you? A wife? A wife? Chuggy is like a, uh, like millennials. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chuggy means like you're doing something that's like not on trend. Or that okay. used to be, that used to be cool five years ago that you think is cool now. And there's like side parts are chuggy. Right. Love it. Um, <laughs> chuggy. Love it. Mm. But this, so this is the thing about my social life. Because I'm a comic, mm-hmm. like every night I'm working and my social life is like, Imagine actually your coworkers are the funniest people in the world. So I like go to the club between I, seven it's to not eight. Difficult. If you've seen her tweets. Oh my god. They're fire. not you fucking funny. So and she thinks she's fire. hilarious no! on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> 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 she'll speak, she'll speak, she'll speak, she'll just smile and I'm like, what the fuck so are you quick. doing? I'm like, babe, did you see my tweet? You don't understand her voice. So you don't understand funny. her voice. If and her I don't, then nobody's going to. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the audience, babe. <laughs> oh my god. But it's true that like my social life is at night and like we have the same friends cause we know the same comics. So like he'll go to his club that he plays. I'll go to my club at night. We get home at like midnight and I'm like, oh my God, like, you know, Jared was talking shit about like Nicole and they got in a fight. <laughs> like we have our own little like high breath. school. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I actually feel the most socially fulfilled I've ever been. I was never good at like the normal friend group type stuff. Cause I was mm-hmm. a, no, I was a weird tennis player. I would travel all the time. I've been to three different high schools. I didn't have that long time standing group or comics. I finally feel like I belong to a came in. It's a cult. Yep. It's a cult. There you go. And that my friends is where <laughs> we wrap the pod. <laughs> Hannah Burner is in a cult. Wait. <laughs> But um, <laughs> most importantly, you're on tour? Yes, so go to hannahburner.com. I'm gonna be in Wisconsin actually, Woo! Chicago, Rhode Island, Long Island. Um, it's just, I'm adding states all the time. And What day are you most excited for? I'm going back to Madison. 
Like I'm, I literally jokingly posted like, we're going to party at the KK after, which is like the bar that we'd all go to. I was like, after party at the KK. And then the KK retweeted me and I was like, we're getting blackout at the KK. Like we're having a meet and greet at the KK. I really like, wish that there was like another letter besides just KK. I was like, yeah, KK. I was like, it whoa. Yeah, it's, it has a one letter off of, uh, yeah. it's, and yeah. it's like in Wisconsin. It's, right. it's the college club with K's. Doesn't God. make it better. Doesn't no, make it that's great. Yeah, that's great. They, 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 they made, made the worse. choice to actually go with the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they think that they're Kardashians of right. bars and they're, they're not. not. Wisconsin's not. Like they were like that much competition. Yeah. There were a lot of words out there. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you're excited for Madison. Anything else? I'm very excited for Madison. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to Portland for the first time. Oh, fun. That's, in that's, two days. For a show? For a show. Okay, I think you're just like, these, like one just updating. I'm going to oh, Portland. Yeah. I was like, I'm sick. Like, uh, <laughs> I did book a trip to go skiing in Vermont. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, it gives you excuses to go to places to be like, I'm working and you just get to travel around. Um, but yeah, follow me on TikTok, Instagram. This is my podcast. Links below. Links below, bitches. Subscribe, swipe up. <laughs> All, All the things. things. I'm so not YouTube-y, which is like why <laughs> I'm trying to get into the YouTube community. How, I'm an you? ally. I feel, <laughs> I'm an ally. <laughs> I mean, we we are a community who needs allies right now. Okay, I know. I know. You guys will be friends later. Thank you so much for coming. Bye. Bye. Bye.